Because I had a situation where I had a woman, we were, we were fuck buddies. And this was a chick who would, when she did come over, you know what I'm saying, for sex, she would do extra shit. You know what I'm saying? She would even bring me shit. Um, she was the type of woman that would be willing to cook me a meal and, and take me out on her dime and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? So when she hit me up and, and was complaining about the fact that, you know, you don't take me out, uh, what's up with that? And I told her, point blank, that's not what we do. When I get horny, I call you up. If you're free, I step through. If you get horny, you call me up. If I'm free, I fall through. I'm like, that's it. That's what the fuck we do. Women will get with guys as placeholders. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of a woman who actually likes you? Who actually respects you, who actually loves you? Do you know how hard it is to get rid of that woman? And you're not talking about some hypergamy? This is real simple. The reason why women treat you like shit, the reason why women got an attitude with you, the reason why women fucking diss you and disrespect you is because they never liked, loved, or respected you in the first place. But every time we look up, every time we look up, we gotta fall to our knees and worship the feminine. Who's worshiping us? Who's worshiping the wonders that we built, the lands we've conquered, and all we get to hear every day, day in and day out, is how fucking sorry we are, how stupid we are, how barbaric we are. But when a woman meets a man that's valuable and knows who the fuck he is, she knows that she can never overpower a nigga with game or a real dude or, or a man or a man of value or um, and not even to say a man of value because that sounds too much like what other niggas be saying what i really mean is a man that knows his value when a woman is dealing with a man that knows his value she knows that she cannot overpower him so she ends up saying to herself well if i can't beat him i gotta join him but when a woman is in a room full of dudes that know they value, she knows that she has to submit. And if she don't submit, she got to get the fuck up out of the room. No matter what level she brings it to, how loud she get disrespectful or talks fast, you have to keep your cool. You have to keep it on your energy level. So if you want her to be submissive, you want her to be calmed down, you want her to bring it down a notch, you won't yell louder than her. Talk to her like this. You, Yo, I don't do that. I don't know if you talk to people like that, but that's not how you're gonna to talk to me. That's not that's not what I do. Now, if you wanna to continue to do that, I will show you exactly where the door is. I will escort you out, tell you to have a nice trip, and send your ass right to the gulag. You'll be gone. I don't tolerate that from people in my life. For all you surface dwellers out there and shit, how does it how does it feel following all these motherfuckers on the other side of the streets? talking about don't do shit well if you ain't gonna do shit then why don't you do man shit don't run away from fear don't dwell in the past don't give away your power don't feel sorry for yourselves don't make the same mistakes over and over again don't worry about what people think about you why don't you do some man don'ts if you're gonna do a don't anyway grass eating lion it's sad to see so many men suffer from bitch assness and then women know there's such a such at an advantage with weak men they try to shut me up this is the part of being a man is standing on your squares understanding that nobody's going to move me i move mountains nobody's going to move me off my square they need to respect your word they need to be a shift in behavior when you get home they need to understand what the deal is when you're around them there's no such thing as compromise with men compromise you should be yeah. fucking at the truck all day truck. <laughs> all the day that's the fucking, these conversations uh, are obviously yeah. too in depth they're too in depth with these bitches man what, what are we talking about you're a truck driver bitch I come in every state and I fuck hoes that's what I do <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be one of them 
or I'm gonna find one that will. And the thing is, if she if she got an issue, if she got an issue with you not having a place to stay, that means she ain't really feeling you. Um, respect to scary uh, scary Perry for the five dollars super chat. He says, "Salute to the real game theory panel, best show on Sunday." I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what leaving pussy on the table means because pussy, pussy's not valuable enough to be left on the table in the first place, in my opinion. Is exactly. I'll have Christmas lights back there, <laughs> and I'm fucking true. bitches under the light. The following program has rated M A N. It contains assertive men who are kings of their castles. Men who don't make excuses or blame women for everything that's going wrong in their lives. Men who don't make the game about women. Instead, they make the game about the man. So, if you're into theory or use soft, weak-ass words like hypergamy, red pill, no fap, be on your purpose, high-value man, or money, clothes, and status... Buddy, you're in the wrong place, and you need to go two doors down where the male cuddle parties and circle jerks are going on. This is a man's space. Since the fall of the PUA community back in 2007, most PUAs ran underground because they had nothing to offer. Content creator has become the hero today, dedicated to one single objective, to declaw and defang any person who listens. They decided to join forces to create a cult and never giving those who listen a solution. It's all about clothes, cars and money, deception and manipulation, indirect game, going your own way. They talk pills and plates. They complain they blame fake it till you make it i just don't get it a man doesn't need to lie to meet women he just needs to learn how to spit flavor in her eyes and in her ears Thanos broke down the game when he said as long as there are those who remember what was there will always be those who cannot accept what can be even in darkness a man can find light sometimes the world doesn't need a group of fake heroes teaching lies Sometimes the world needs a group of anti-heroes to bring balance, order and truth to the game. It's time to summon the authentic players of the game. Only one group dares to challenge this threat. Gathered together from the cosmic regions of the streets, these anti-villains are hated because they put all the accountability on the man. They know the game will never be about women. They fight for every young man who is trying to learn their family name. Dedicated to truth, keeping it real and manhood. Get your notebooks out, ask questions and call in. Don't just listen to the message, become the message. All right. Yo, 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 what's good? What's good? I want to, I want to wish all you, hey, uh, hey, wish all your mothers a happy Mother's Day. They raised great men, and uh, no hey, doubt, no doubt. Mm-hmm. Not you, man. Same to you. Yeah, not to me. It's great, great men like you, gentlemen. So, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh y'all have a great Mother's Day, mothers. Let's get around, man. Uh, let's start it from the bottom up. Let's start with our dog, uh, Mr. Lucario. Let's get it from the all right, yeah, car. Yo, yo, what's going on? What's popping, everybody? Shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody in the panel. The phone lines are open. Uh, so, yeah, let's get it. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Oh, my bad, my bad. I'm going to put looking at my phone and shit. All right, man, what's up, man? Let's get it, man. Yo, Steve, I know you saw that goofy shit on the Facebook joint, right? I'm, I'm definitely going to bring that up. This is why this title is so important. Cause you have a lot of weak ass dudes that don't understand their power as men. Let's go. What's good with y'all, man? What's good with y'all, man? We're here to make a scientific article about uh games. <laughs> <laughs> we here to get real scientific today, break the game down, man. I'm gonna holler at y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, uh put you in the question, call in. Y'all know the routine. 50, you got it, brother. Here we go. Hey, what's happening? A special 1950, aka bedroom bully. 
Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there that actually was a part of your uh, your child's life, who was cooking him dinner at night, who was making sure that she was home for homework with the child, making sure you wasn't at the strip club bouncing ass. Happy Mother's Day to you. I'm proud of you. Real shit, real shit. Real All right, Zach, try to go, man. <laughs> man, look, see, this 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 title is important, man. And it a little while ago, I posted this joint to the Social Sexual Dynamic Facebook group, and a dude immediately came under that and said, uh, it goes both ways, talking about the standard shit, right? Mm -hmm. And what guys don't realize, uh, Ryan Boone, what guys don't realize is that as men, we set the tone. Mm. We set the standard. We don't look to women to set the tone or the standard. We set it. You mm. know what I'm saying? So what guys have to understand, when you're dealing with women, you're not trying to be a part of their life. They should be trying to be a part of yours. If that's the case, that means you need to have the guidelines. You need to have the standards for women to adhere to. Because if you don't have any standards or no guidelines, women can just come into your life and do what the fuck ever. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And you won't get no fucking respect. So when I talk about Men want women to have standards they don't possess. That's exactly what the fuck I mean. A lot of guys, they don't have no boundaries, no standards, no guidelines for women to follow. They just want some pussy or they just want a woman to love them. And, and, and they don't require nothing else but to feel good in a woman's presence. But they don't require anything uh, practical or pragmatic from that woman. Well, Y'all got it. Mm. That's some real shit. Um, I'll, I'll say this. You know, I think a lot of guys out here, um, unfortunately... They're scared of women, you know what I mean? And they don't really stand on anything because they're worried about what the woman's going to think, how she's going to respond to him, uh, what she's going to say, if she's going to go for that or not, all that other shit that dudes be talking about. So I think, you know, one of the biggest things is dudes got to actually first give a fuck about themselves and then therefore they can set the standard and then therefore get the type of situation they want. But unfortunately, a lot of guys put vagina, put the women in front of their own situation. And therefore, this is why they can't actually make things happen the way they want it to happen. Because as soon as you put a woman on a pedestal, as soon as you make the woman, uh, you know, feel as if she's above you or that you're following her, she can't respect you. And then therefore you get a situation where you're going to have unfavorable outcomes when you're dealing with women. And then you're going to blame the woman for the situation, not realizing that you created the situation in the first place. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that's, that's the crazy part of it. Big facts. You know what I mean? Most definitely. I, I had a saying, I say, um, you know, the just the more women you can get, the less that you actually want because that's when your your standard or your bar is set higher. Mm -hmm. You can actually get more women, but you just want less because now you're it's it's harder to get to your through your filter. It's harder to get through and be actually accepted based on your standards now that you're holding them accountable. Right. But what guys try to do, they you can't have both worlds. You can on one end try to say you want to be an entrepreneur and then be filling out job applications. And that's exactly what they do when they say, um, you know, I wanna be mashed because I wanna be this. And then expect the woman to make the first move. I mean, it all starts at the door. Did she give me signals? Did she give me choosing signals? Did she hint me? Like, do you, you just said as a man at the door, you have to go for what you want mm. or be ready or at least be ready to. So dudes already started off with that weak energy and that wrong energy off the door from their approach. That's right. Fact. And, yeah. And, and not only that, man, real quick, just like this guy right here, Mr. Fantastic, you need to change your last name to Mr. Weak as fuck. Because uh, here's the problem with a lot of you guys. I, this is why we have this 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 uh, topic right here because you want to automatically think women are ruthless. Women are only ruthless when you turn them off. Women are only ruthless when you uh, when they're not interested in you. Women are ruthless when they realize you ain't got no game and they don't want to waste their time even clicking anything. Women are ruthless when you guys out there don't know what to say, what to do, and all you want to do is be like, hey, baby, yo, mama, what's up, girl? Women don't want to hear that stuff, so they're ruthless to you because you ain't got no game, son. Mm hmm That's facts. That's real shit. And so, guys, make sure you guys call in. Call the numbers 516-387-1224. 516-387-1224. Also, if you have a question, put a Q in the chat, and then we'll, we'll get to that shit. We'll get it cracking. Let me, oh, let, me oh. let me. Go ahead. You got it. Yeah, real quick, man. I want to say too, man. When you got standards too, uh, men men need to stand by those standards. A lot of men lose lose focus of those standards, you know, because they they're weak inside 
you know, really, they're super weak. So what happens is they they create some standards, and then they get a, a woman that that they feel like is just so beautiful mm. that they lose they lose themselves in the women. When I hear men talking about they lose yeah. themselves in women, that would never happen if you really had those to begin with. Like if you really knew who you was as a man, you would stick stick by those no matter who's in your presence. And I don't let me let me tell you another thing, right? There there's a there's a standard I I even have for a, for a woman and how she deals with her her family. Mm. Like that that's how that's how far left I'm going with it because I need them to understand like this this is this is what I'm about. This is what I'm gonna be doing. This is how my life is ran, and you're part of it. You you're not in control of it. Like too many people. Like just like I always talk about men and the th- going to other people's houses for Thanksgiving, they got to go to grandma house. No, 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 no. You tell grandma to bring some plates over here, and then we're gonna have it here mm. because you got to create your own. This is the standard. What I'm saying as a man, men need to stand on something, and when they don't, then they they're just gonna fall for anything. And and I don't know who that was on Facebook, Zach. Yeah. But man, please tag me with that next time. Just like so I can go in there and just get busy. Right, gotcha. I, don't, I love I love the online smoke, bro. I'll be ready for it. Yo, you and I both, bro. Yeah, man. Fuck them. Angry man, what up, yo? What's going on, y'all? What's good? What's chilling, 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 fam. Chilling. So, 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 what's your take on the title, fam? Uh, men expecting women to have man. This has been going on for a while now. And like I say all the time, dudes need to learn how to cultivate their masculinity. I definitely agree with uh, Mr. 1950. The moment that I got my own crib, it's like everybody was like, yo, you should come to our house for Thanksgiving. No, come to my house for Thanksgiving. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. um, you know, once you become a man and you have your own, you know, you're trying to you're trying to create your own um, your own kingdom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying instead of being a part of somebody else's kingdom. And um, I think or or kingdom because there don't be no men around. They motherfuckers be trying to dictate shit. You know what I mean? That too. Fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my thing is, you know, just overall, I don't think men take pride in masculinity anymore. I think they just go with the flow. You know, so whatever they're told masculinity is, that's what they that's what they do or try to live up to, and then they wonder why they have deficiencies in certain areas. That's yeah. that's so different. so go ahead go ahead oh, yeah this is what i was gonna add to this to, to add to that last statement is that what dudes don't realize when you stop trying to be what she wants and you get into the need now you get into the the man and fulfilling that role you will she will never be able to treat you the same as every other guy that whole toxic toxic disrespect mm-hmm. uh she did this and she did that she will naturally fall in line because of her her respect for you, how how high of a level she regards you in her life. The and I we was on the show last time. It was me and Steve, and I asked you. I was like, "What's the, what's the last thing you put a woman on?" You like, oh, well, I told her to get a job. I'm like, <laughs> and, and listen, she this woman messed with him and can't say she benefited from no game. Mm-hmm. Can't say she she went up any level in life or seen something differently. Dudes don't even, it's, it's not even just on a sexual level. I expect a lot from my woman mentally, spiritually, mm-hmm. and even on, on a piece wise, because I, it's a lot of pussy I turn down if it comes with a headache. Mm-hmm. Facts. That's some real shit right there. I got it. Uh-huh. I'm very Sanders in them hoes. <laughs> I, saw, I saw a recent YouTube video where basically it was a reaction video. So there was a guy sitting in the car with this female. Mm-hmm. And you know, he kept calling her a nigga, nigga this, bro this, bro that. And I'm like, first of all, when you do that type of shit, when you talk to women like they're your homie and shit, they're gonna talk to you like they like like you they nigga. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna call you nigga and bro and bro. Mm-hmm. And can't no woman talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That ain't happening. So mm-hmm. so he's doing all this with her, and then at some point, she starts calling him a bitch. And a bitch. He, he, yeah, he's like, Don't he's like, don't call me a bitch. Why are you calling me a bitch? Because you called me a bitch because he was on that. Oh, God, you tripping, bitch. So they're going back and forth calling each other bitches and shit. <laughs> and, and then a guy, and, and she's still sitting in the car trying to figure out why she ain't out the door. But so the guy who's doing the video, he's commenting on how pretty the chick is. Well, you know, she is kind of pretty. That's probably why he letting that shit go down. You know, because women do got power over us. And I'm like, see, that's that oh, shit. see, that's the, but that's what a lot of dudes do is that they, you know, they see a chick, they think she hot, and all of a sudden she got power over you because that's how you 
with your weak ass is 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 interacting with women and looking at them. Let's let's take a call real quick. We'll go three one seven. Yeah, yeah. Can I touch on uh, one thing before we go into this? Okay. Got, dudes got to realize about respect and expectations. It, it's not something that you make her. You don't make her respect you. you. Don't you don't make her act right. You don't put her in her place. You draw the line in the sand, and when she crosses that line, she can no longer be in the castle. And then mm-hmm. you simply are kicking her out of the castle. So that whole, how do I do this without raising my voice? And it's not a matter of anger. It's not a matter of, uh, it's just principle. Mm-hmm. Who, whoever crosses it, not just that girl, a stranger. Shoot, even a family member sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It, it get like that. Once that principle in the sand is crossed, it, it just is what it is. It's not a matter of disrespect or anger and, and she acting wild. And these women nowadays, it's, listen, and that could be even something as small as bro. I don't let no girl call me bro. And all these excuses they come up with, I don't be trying to hear that shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Real shit. So 317, 317, what's popping? Hello, Steve the Dean Williams, uh, Angry Man, and the rest of the panel. Shout out to all of y'all. Thank you guys for doing just fine, and I hope you are as well. What's up? Uh, the question that I'm having right now is uh, if. Hmm. Go ahead. If a guy, if a guy Punch it out your chest. just keep things casual with the girl, is that possible? Well, this is this got to be you got to be trolling. <laughs> Wait, caller. So you've ne- you've never had uh, casual sex with a woman? I mean, I could have if I wanted to, but I honestly don't really care. I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> no, you're not, bro. No, you're not. And I and I and I'm so tired of these. I'm so tired of these guys getting calling in, sound like they've been entered. Like we don't, we don't, we don't have this type of tone. We talk as men. We speak from our stomach and our chest. I don't know. Like it's like nasalish. You said you could have if you wanted to. That means you haven't had it yet. Correct? Is, is are, 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 am I on the right track? Correct. Huh? Type of lies we telling ourselves, man. Oh my God, there's so many laws put into place to protect men like this, bro. Because I, I back in the day, I'd have just ran through his pockets. <laughs> I'd have fucking said, you know what? Give me all your fucking shit right now. I'm not gonna even threaten violence. You just willingly giving me your shit. But see, call him. You know what your issue is, right? Your issue is is that you just came on here and said you was asking for a friend, but you was really asking for yourself. You you see that? So you're you're already lying. And you're expecting to actually progress in this game. That's not going to happen, bro. You got you got to be real with your shit. Say, listen, look, I haven't had casual sex. I want to make this happen. And, and how do I make that happen? And and don't be ashamed of that shit. You feel know what I mean? And y'all don't be covering y'all don't be covering your asses with that whole for a friend shit. Because why is you hanging with some bitch ass niggas? <laughs> exactly. Mm, what the go. fuck? There we go. So so call. I be swearing y'all do something with that. So yes, Carly, you can have casual sex with a woman. But I'm I'm assuming you're not going to be able to do this because you you don't really have that experience and from hearing how you talking and your vibe it don't seem like you're going to have that going anytime soon. So and, I mean he's not assertive in life. Right? Well, I'm, I'm, we we know he can't say he can't say nothing. A woman comes in to ask you buy me a drink, you gonna reach in your pocket, bro. Carl, let me ask you a question. Uh, when was the last time you enjoyed the sexual companionship of a woman? Sexual companionship. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker had him up. <laughs> this motherfucker. Is, is that a trick question? <laughs> no, go ahead, go yeah, on. Not a time at all. Say that again. Not a time at all. So never. Oh. So have you ever had sex in your life? Nope. How, how old are you? I am 25. Okay, so yes. is it, are you saving it or what? What, what is it? Your plan? It's, it's, yeah. it's nothing wrong with saving it, man. So, what are you saving it for, though? Yo, you just said casual sex, and then you saving it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know, but I'm just trying to figure this out for him because because he wants it. He obviously wants it. He sees something he won't. But let, let me ask you this: So, what are you saving it for? I honestly don't even know. I'm trying to. Well, 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 yeah, right now, that means you, you're an absolute loser. And let me tell you why. Let me just give you a little insight yeah. on what I'm talking about. You can't have beliefs on something without any foundation of it as a man. 
If I'm going to say this, look, this is I, I'm doing this, but this is the reason why. Mm-hmm. You can't say I don't know behind it because what you're saying is you're just bullshitting this. You want to smash somebody? Just say, you know what? I'm 25. You know, I, I you know I don't speak well, but I I still want to hit something. Can I get some suggestions? Yeah. Carla, this is what y'all gotta understand. This, this is this is the birthplace of that weak ass energy, bro. What do you mean you don't know something you've been doing for 25 years? You don't know. You ain't you ain't getting no pussy, so you ain't had all this extra time to think. You got extra time, bro. Bitches, bitches take a little bit of time to manage, bro. So how do you have all this time on your hands and you don't know? That See that? I don't know energy. As soon as somebody pushes, you have no resistance. You have nothing to stand on. You have nothing to fall back on. How do You don't know. How do you get to the quarter without ever getting your Johnson way? Like, have you, have you ever fingered a chick? Like, Suck on the titty or something. Index. You know? so what have you done? Have you kissed some girls? Touched the titties? Finger the girl? Like, you ever, what have you done so far? I mean, I've kissed quite a few girls. I've definitely <laughs> got a good handful every now and then. And <laughs> I guess I get a good handful. Yeah, actually did try to. I actually did try to put a couple of fingers in at one point in time. Okay, man. Hey, hey. So let me let me get you from let me get you from Plan A to Plan Z, right? So you need some coaching. You just need some coaching, right? Mr. 1950 can help you grab a woman by her throat <laughs> and choke the shit out of her the way she likes it. Now, now, now if you want that, that's going to cost you. Now, be careful. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he was around to kill the... <laughs> he was choking to death. He said, damn, this is fucking... <laughs> He's gonna, tiny, he's, gonna tiny, he's, gonna he's gonna be tightening it up and shit. He's gonna be tight yeah, because he got small hands. He got his John Wick. <laughs> Your motherfucker got small hands. He, he might... <laughs> and none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Trying to eat any before you penetrate some for the oh, first yeah. time. We don't. We don't want no whistling to the wheat field, bro. You, you need to. You need to step like really. Like this is goofy, man. It's just like that dude on Forty Year Old Version where he's like, "How old are you?" He's like forty. He's like, "Man, you need to, you need to get on that shit, man. You need to handle that shit because like, it, it it's gonna become an issue, bro. You're gonna start, bro. It's right now, he's tightening up now. Right here, he's arching his back talking to us right now, dog. Right. He, needs, he needs to. He needs to release. <laughs> so, call it. Listen, hit us, hit us up. Go to realgamenotheory.com and hit us up for coaching, my brother, because you you need it so we can help you out, my brother. All right. Appreciate the call. Let's go to uh five one three. And what that caller had that a lot of guys have is is a level of self deception. See where he said he doesn't know. He really does know. He just is too afraid to act on it. All right. So five five one three was popping. Who this? Hey, what's up, the car? What's, what's up, man? What's Here? going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, man, I just graduated, so a bitch got to be on my plan. Okay. You said you, you, said you graduated? Can you, you? I get you. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, a whole got to be on my plan. Man. That's what I'm saying. And wait, wait, speak up. Speak up. I don't know what you're plan. talking about. It's incoherent. <laughs> Yeah, say, say that again. Speak, speak up. Take off the Bluetooth because you sound like you're in the hallway somewhere. Why are you blessing, nigga? <laughs> speak up, caller. He got the, he got the long Bluetooth, nigga, with the blue flashing light. <laughs> so what's it? What's it? Nigga in the crib in the corner, standing up. <laughs> All right, what's the what, question? Enough about me. Enough about me. What's the question? I, I ain't gonna dog you, man. Just go ahead and speak up, man. We ain't gonna talk about your sidekick, bro. Yeah, what's the question? Why are you raising your voice, bro? Did he say something about like Kevin Samuels? <laughs> what, wait, caller, what is yeah. your question? How did he get it? How did he get in this conversation? Yeah, what is your question, caller? About you? This nigga picking up other signals. <laughs> What's your question about you? I'm asking about life. All right, listen, we gonna have to move on because you, uh, bro, you ain't put a sentence together yet. Right, Call back when you when you when you figure yeah, out your yeah. shit. All right, let's go. I think this is Miles on the line. Real, real quick, real quick, real quick, real, real quick. The guy who asked, "How can I regain my masculinity?" You never had it. Oh shit! <laughs> the guy, how can I regain my masculinity? The fact that you even asked that question means yeah. you never had it. So, so I mean, is he lost it and he's now feminine? Is that what he's saying? Probably. Uh, Miles, what's going on? Uh, I, 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 
this this is not Miles. This is uh, this is Poindexter. Uh, I went to the <laughs> and uh, I need to I need to get some Mike. Some, 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 some tutorials. Uh, I had so, how do I cut the, uh, a a bitch? That's the thing. That's how you guys play it. A bitch. Uh, I want her to I want her to start to black out, but then I want to bring her back to life. <laughs> yeah, I know that's Miles. <laughs> See, I know, I know. I'm about to gay. I'm about to tell him too. Hey, hey, man, you got to do it at the right time. You got to have a timer. You got to have a timer in your head when you when you've done it a lot, enough. You, you know, for those who's who's lightweight, you gotta you gotta put it in your phone. You know I mean, you got about 15 good seconds of her turning blue, and then you gotta let go. I know you're gonna enjoy it, but you gotta let go at that time. And she's gonna drop all the way to the to. to when, She's when gonna them, fall them, all the way down. When, when them eyes start to roll back, that's when you gotta, you gotta let yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a little. Yeah. <laughs> Check your pulse. What up, what up, guys? What up, man? Uh, I just, I just wanted to call in real quick. It's my bro, man. Um, and and share my thoughts on the on the topic, but you know, respect to y'all, respect to the chat, respect to everybody. Um, appreciate yeah. y'all, man. Um, but 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 I just wanted to say real quick, you know, I feel, I feel that you know the values of a man are are more intangible than the values of a woman. That's why a mm-hmm. husband nigga could be with a quote unquote bad bitch. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right. And and I think that in the world in the world we live in today where image is more seems to be more important than character and value, I think the weak the weak men who forget about the intangibles and the the you know the plight of being closer to the highest version of ourselves, the plight of being closer to you know to whatever you may call God. I think a lot of guys lose, like, we lose focus, so we start to actually elevate, like, the physical, tangible value mm-hmm. over the intangible. So we, so we forget that men are actually the closest thing to God. Therefore, we have that intrinsic value, and we need to lead by example. But because we start to elevate the physical and we start to elevate the tangible um, aspects and, you know, the fact that women get more attention and, and all of that type of shit is like we start to actually think that women are more valuable than men. And I feel like that's that's where we start to, you know, expect women to have more value that that the average man don't possess these days. Mm-hmm. Because it's like we're looking at the shit upside down now, you know, mm-hmm. where we think that a beautiful bitch gives her value over a nigga with integrity and and and, and character you know mm-hmm. what I'm and game. Right. So, you know, I just wanted to say that real quick and, you know, say what's up to y'all real quick. That's what's up. That's what's All up. Right. All right, bro. Come out. Yo, my nigga, man. <laughs> my nigga, man. He got the funniest <laughs> motherfucking impressions. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to holler at you, Miles. <laughs> All right, peace. All right, family. Peace, man. Later. Oh, man. So let's go to, uh, go to 917. 917, what's popping? Who this? Hello? Yes, Yo, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on? It's crazy, man, because I, I know this show doesn't really go the political route often, but, you know, I was thinking about something, man. This generation with the gender binary shit and trans shit and all this shit from, like, three years old makes me think that Trump had a point, man. Mm. Grab him by the pussy. That's the way we got to be. That's the music, not literally, this nigga. But- <laughs> yeah, we, can't, we can't just do that, bro. You got to have some finesse to you in order to get that, that, that type of... Uh, reaction but i but I, I do understand what you're saying man i know we don't really go political a lot I, I will tell you there there's a lot of people regretting that blue vote right now right and i was saying that prior to the uh, election and i'm gonna go ahead and stand on like i always say when everybody when, when everybody's running in one direction you 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 ask why and you run the other fucking way most mm-hmm. of the time you you really figure out that somebody is moving the sheep the right direction i mean the wrong direction so we'll yeah. give you a heads up yep right Go. So, call you got anything else you want to say? Nah, I was there. Y'all have a good show. All right, man. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, let's go to 313. 313, what's good? Yo. Yo. Is this me? Yes, hey, sir. Guys, yep. How you guys doing? Big respect to the podcast and the show. I'm excited anyway, with you, brother. Appreciate you. Question for um a younger guy, basically. Mm-hmm. So, basically, I just turned 23. Mm-hmm. And I only like talking to older women. Like that's kind of what I'm attracted to. And usually, what I've noticed 
every time before, like we had sex or anything, there's always like a five minute, like almost they pause and be like, hold up. And almost try to like argue with me. Like, wait, you too young. You this, you that. Motherfucker, you ain't fucking. Stop lying. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, you tell yeah, me. You ain't that. gonna get away with that with a nigga on here that like fucking older yeah. bitches, but you ain't gonna get away with that. <laughs> on, I'm a young nigga, man. Oh, Come on, man. What are you talking well, about? I'll tell you. Like Does she hit you with the pillow when she says it? Older women do not argue with you about your age. Older women know exactly what they want. If an older no. woman bring you into her bedroom, My she's going to fuck. What's older Even women than you, though? He, Listen, he may be talking about 30 to him. That may be 30 to him. <laughs> hey, go ahead, call her. I can't hear y'all. Now, go ahead, call her. My bad. I can't hear what y'all said. Now, we say, okay, so what, what are y'all arguing about? Or how does the argument happen? So you, you in the room naked and she arguing with you? No. This nigga, who's getting the ass naked now? Dude? Yeah, right. Niggas is getting the ass naked right away with bitches now, dog. Come on, dog. Look, you talking about older women? Oh, fuck, I'm disrespectful. I'm keeping these hoop shorts. Talking about older women that's forty. Everything on ankles. Look, you talking about older women that's forty plus. He turned into a fucking penguin. Why? The twenty nine thirty. Bro, how old is the woman? Like this has been since I was eighteen, seventeen. <laughs> Grade well, hold on, hold on, call her, call her, call her. Are, are we on speaker? Are we on speaker? Call her, guess what? Guess what? I don't give a fuck how old she is, bro. She, we wouldn't even be talking about that bullshit at that time. I swear to God. I know. I usually just get up and then start walking away, and then they'll be like, "Come back, motherfucker, please." Before. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. I caught that. Like, no, hold on. Yo. You end up walking away, and they say, "Come back," and you come back. Turn around yeah. faster than motherfucking. And you, hold on, call it, call it. And you actually come back when they say come back? It's a lies. Yes. Why? 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 Yes. Are you coming back? Yes, ma'am. Oh, my God. <laughs> call it, do you, do you wear a collar in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she got you strapped up with the leather. <laughs> he got the joke, the little ball in the mouth. The... <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell you, man, y'all need to stop getting ass naked, smashing these women. <laughs> I heard, I heard that. I don't know if it's my phone. I really cannot hear you. Okay, hold on, hold on, call. Okay. You don't want to hear us, bro. I'm gonna I keep it buck. We're talking too much. Voices, so I'm trying to answer. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna put myself on mute. I'm gonna let Lucario head on this guy. Let me, let me ask you the question. Let me ask you the question, caller. Okay, so you, where you meet these women at? Um, the last one was on Instagram. The one before that, yesterday, I was taking a run in the park and just pulled up on her. Okay, cool. Now, at what point is she quote unquote arguing with you about your age? Um, I usually don't mention it, but then we just start laughing about it because I always say age is just a number. No, no, no. I'm saying when like, does that come oh, up? At what point? At what point? I hear. Yes. You. Hear at what point? <laughs> like. Um, Usually, like, for example, when we were going, usually when we're leaving the date back to her crib. Okay, so you go out with her and y'all go into the last situation. We were leaving the date. Uh -huh. The girl, she was like, wait, pull up. I don't feel like we had just met. We were texting. This is another girl. We were texting on Instagram. I pulled up on Instagram. We had just met. Day went good. We're going back to her crib. She says, stop. We pull up to a just like a kind of parking lot of a park start making out for 15 minutes and then she's like oh i don't know if i want to go home with you like it's too new um i want somebody to build with nigga, you know how long 15 minutes is nigga I I'm, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my profile and everything i'm not trying to like i am who i am i'm not trying to argue or like okay and then yeah, what and then what happened and then what happened after that did you did you did you smash no I, I just go i just like stop kissing them or whatever go like and sit in my car kind of started and then they're like, okay, you suck. And then, yeah. And then, yeah, they just kind of agree. No, I'm but saying, it's dude. It's always like a weird, like, it's always a weird, like, pause. Like, everything's going smooth. I'm running the game. But then, always right before, it's like a hesitation. Then I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to deal with this hesitation. And then I'm just like, I can't. But, bro, I'm to but listen, listen, shit. listen. That ain't got nothing to do with Hold on, hold on, hold on. Call no, what she doing, call it. She jumped at you to see if you would flinch. Right. Because that, that had nothing to do with her age. Mm. You're saying that it's just... Okay, maybe it's just... Yeah, I see. Yeah, you're, you're assuming Yo, that hey. because of her age, but it's not that. Yeah. Steve, what you think about this, Steve? I see you over there twisting and turning, man. You about could, to... It could be. Because she, she, you know, she felt the joint through your jeans and shit. She ain't like what she felt. She like, I don't want to do this no more. 
I just so, don't know. So, so tight ass capris he had on I, up there. I, I keep I keep the Jordan I keep the Jordan ones on. Nigga, no, I drop the hoop shorts. Everything else is on. I right. don't know why I'm lying, dog. Hey, the car. I feel like we got to play the song. Oh, you ready? Hey, wait. Uh, let me get the, let me get it queued up for you. For this Thank bitch. you. All right, let's hit it, baby. Hit it. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god! Stop fucking lying. <laughs> yeah, you ain't getting no ass, man. Get your surface dwelling ass off this phone, man. <laughs> Hey, well, matter, hey, matter of fact, go to your mother and tell her she failed you. Just do that. Call it. I'm gonna tell you this. Hit us up at realgamenotheory.com, bro. Because it's not an age thing. You understand? It's just you're dealing with women and and the women and some of the women you're dealing with giving you resistance. You understand? Whether it whether or not she's saying this your age or not doesn't matter. The fact is she's giving you resistance. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So just understand that that's part of the game, and you just gotta so, deal with more women who's more cooperative. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, so then it's walking away. So, like, every time I'm just like, oh, all right. As soon as I see, oh, like, call, the, call, call, her, like, call her, hang up on her. Hang up. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. I, I got something for him because we're talking about standards. If you're walking away and they say, come back, little boy, and you come back, you ain't got no standards. Right. Keep walking. That's your standard. Hold on, hold on. Listen, call her. Hold on, call her. Hold on, call her. Hold on. Call her. Hold on, nigga. That's your what standard, I'm doing. Your, your That's standard should be. Your standard should be if I get resistance, uh -huh. I'm walking away. Period. And okay. if she call you, and it's over. you still keep walking away. And I say something to do. Dude. dude, you ever seen a mouse playing with a you ever seen a you ever seen a cat playing with a mouse? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is what's going on, bro. You're 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 food <laughs> and, a, and a cougar is just playing with you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like like play though. You you played on her hands. She's trying to see she's trying to she's trying to play a little game to, to see, I would guess, if she still got it. Mm -hmm. To get her a young man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you keep falling for it because guess what? If you if you're interacting with this woman and the interaction isn't going the way you want it to go, you're not supposed to wait until the, the situation gets so frustrating that both of you are like, oh, well, I guess we're not going to do this. The moment she does something that you're not feeling, you're supposed to get up and walk away. And keep walking, nigga. And keep walking. That's exactly, that's exactly what I'm describing. The first sign of resistance, I just, I just start leaving. Then they're like, oh, okay. Why you and then you go back, yeah, which that's means you may as well not even got up and left. Thank you. But I keep. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, sir. I see what you're saying. Sir. But but call her. Call her. Hold on. Call her. Call her. There there is a deeper aspect to this. Call her. Listen. When you but walk away, call her. Hold on. Call her. Ask for it. Call her. Call her. Nigga, 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 you all right? Can you hear me? God damn. Yeah. Call her. Listen for a second. Your phone is bad. So like you guys. Your phone is bad. God damn, nigga. You, you, you need to fuck with them on the cookers and get you a new phone, nigga. Get on their phone plan or something, nigga. Mm -hmm. Co co sign you something. <laughs> Call her, call her, listen, call her. When you when yeah. you walk away, when you walk away and they call you back and you come mm -hmm. back, what you're inadvertently showing them is how bad you want sex. You, you're you're showing hold on, call it. You're showing them that uh when it comes to you to you getting sex, that any type of standards you have, you'll scuttle that shit. You'll push that shit, shit to the side for some pussy. That's what you're showing women when you do that. They'll respect you more if you keep walking. No, the the last time I walked was actually because the girl didn't cook. After get in your car. <laughs> get in your car. And when you leave, and when you leave, feel out with with little Wayne, I'm single bumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm single. Yeah, I'm single. Nigga had to cancel that bitch like Nino and peel the fuck out. And don't uh, come back. No, I, I, let's I make know, it how, how, old, how old are these women though? That's what I want to know. You need to play YMCA. Go oh, find yeah. your find the table to village people and play YMCA, yes. brother. Yes. <laughs> and this is what I this is what I would say, bro. Let's not even make it about the woman. Let's make it about the man. As a man, how do you even feel comfortable going against something you just said? Right. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not How like, do you even feel comfortable going against your own action and decision? Like, this wishy-washy ass behavior, bro. What'd you say? 
I said, how do you even feel comfortable going against something you just decided to do so quickly? No, the reason why I walk away is because I will not go against anything I say. That's why the first sign of like, eh, I'm like, bro, what is this? I'm not, I don't have time for this. Like my African accent just come out. I don't have time. And then I just started to be like, all right, so. But, but you know, like, please, please come back. And then I'll be like, I'm not going to say So, here. So what about a woman challenging you on your age so feels like a conversation that you need to listen to? You said what's this? I said, what about that conversation of her challenging you on your age is a conversation that you need to listen to? Why you don't just shut that down immediately? Oh, I just laugh. I just, I just laugh and be like... <laughs> bro, you're laughing. You're the joke. <laughs> you're the punchline, bro. Why are you laughing at yourself? He don't, he don't get it. The ca caller, when you, when you walk away and come back, it seems like you're pouting. Look at this little young nigga pouting because he can't get what he wants. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You coming back, bro, it, I hear you saying. it's a detriment to you. You know what I'm saying? She probably wanted to wipe walking, your nose when you came back, man. There you go. When you keep walking, then that means you stand on something and you don't play. You ain't to be trifled with. But when you come back, <laughs> like, she's she doing you like a yo yo. Get back here, nigga. Mm -hmm. Come back and give you a and give you a mercy fucking in, tuck you in like a like a newborn baby and shit. Probably wanted to tuck his shirt in, fix probably his collar. <laughs> In the damn fetal position with his oh, well, get the I, crumbs out of his eye. Oh, God, <laughs> you know they take the they take the spit off the and spit and, and wipe your eyes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. you, you, you get ready to leave, she rubs some damn Vaseline on you. <laughs> he leaves stomping all hard as shit. <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Walk out. That's why I'm saying I always take it as a joke. But you saying I'm the butt of the joke in those situations when I laugh and just be like, yes, bro. What is what is listen, I would look at her like she has ten heads when she would have said that to me. I wouldn't even have laughed. I don't get the joke. You would have looked at her like what I'm I, I need can you quote it? Can, maybe I'm not getting it. Maybe it's me. Can you quote it word for what is she talking about? What is she saying? Oh, you ain't young. Like you said she challenged you in your age. This, this don't make sense to me. You already in my in my room, man. <laughs> it's too late to do that. Yeah, I don't really have conversations. I'm more. I'm, I'm more of a. What are we talking about? I don't about? even. I don't even answer all questions anyway from a woman. Exactly. So like, she could say something, and I just say, you know what? Just shut the fuck up and, and take all your clothes off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, that's what I'm. That's, listen, that's what I'm saying. Why is this shit even registering, bro? That shit should right. fly off your shoulder like a fucking. Man, real talk, man. I, I don't even answer ninety percent of the stuff. And if you did, bro, you'd be fucking turning your head. <laughs> I say that once, and then it's like, I'm, I'm telling you, I say that once, and then they say like, oh. Um, you just say you'll say that once. You'll say what once? I don't know how, like, you're you're younger than me. Like, no, 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 no. You say you say what once? What you just said? No, you're not telling nah, me. Nah, you, nah, you, nah. You're nah. trolling, bro. You, you, I've, right. heard enough, I've heard enough. Listen, listen. listen. Hit it. No, no. Hit, listen, hit us up for some coaching, brother. Hit us up for some coaching, man. Uh, Real Game No Theory, you appreciate you, my brother. All right. I got you. That's why I'm All right, I had to cut him off. Call, call, call a friend. All right, so call, call her, act like he let his nuts hang. No, you keep them stuck. You keep them nuts stuck, nigga. Don't, don't front. Yeah, All right, guys, call the number is 516-387-1224, 516-387-1224. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat. Let's get a cracking. Let, let, me, let me say this real quick. Gentlemen, the most powerful thing a man can do is turn some pussy down. Mm, with, straight, with a straight face. Yeah, one of them. Yeah. And, and while the chick is calling you, you don't say... You, you could have had some dick, but you did this wrong. You don't say nothing. <laughs> you just keep walking. You ignore yeah. it. And if she texts you or call you, you don't answer them shits. Mm. And, 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 and I want to tell men, because they probably don't know, but women love taking directions. Right. They love that fucking shit. And most men don't even know that. Tell that bitch to stand there, get ass naked, fold her clothes, and then come on the bed. I, I like my shit neat. Fold your fucking clothes over there. <laughs> Don't just sling your shit. Right. All right, so let's go to 405. 405. <laughs> he was already scared the ass could have come over. Now he got to say that. He's like, oh, <laughs> shit. Real quick. Hold on. 405. You're on the line. 405. What's up? 405. 405 going once. 405 going twice. All right. You out of here. Get out of here, you right. damn nigga! Let's go. Yeah, let's, let's, one one let's one. Another car. All right, all right. We got one car. One one one. Uh oh. Yo. 
one one uh, one. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. What's going on? I'm sorry. Could you hold on? Hold is this, is, is this okay? a woman? Yes. Listen. Call. Call back. Call back. Call back. Call back. Directed. Sorry, this question is directed towards angry man. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. Let me mute, let me mute this then. Oh, all right, man. Let's get out of the way. Oh, this, is, this is in reference to the um, title. It says men expect women to have standards they themselves um, don't possess. I was just wondering what do, what does that have to do like with um, when women put um, like if a man lives in an apartment and a woman has to put the apartment in her name, or like he gets a brand new car, say a Mercedes or something, and a woman has to put her put it in her name. But he helps pay for it. I mean, is is that like um a problem? It was son, not a man. That's some bitch. Who, who is that in reference to, ma'am? Um, I'm just uh, I'm just asking because I know this guy. He's like a YouTuber, and um, the woman that he's dating put like everything I, in her name. Yeah. Don't talk but, about. Don't like, talk about. That other is crazy. Man, like, man. Just, you know, everything focused. belongs to him. That is crazy. Yeah, keep your focus on you, lady. Don't don't bring up other YouTubers on the show. So ask your question that you want to ask. She's, but she's she's trying to be cute and imply that about me. Oh, okay. I'm wondering. Hey, 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 we're actually, hey, we're actually on a show right now, and a young lady called in and said that everything we have is in your name. And I'm helping you pay for it. Would you, would you like to talk to her? She can hear you. Oh, we got the receipts. We got the receipts. I mean, if you want me, to, if you want me to get her angry, man, I can. Complete opposite. Could could you could you do me a favor? Because I would love for you to ask this young lady why the fuck she's in your business. Why does she care on a Sunday? Go spend some time with your fucking mama. It's Mama's Day. That's the way I like it. See, I like a bite. You know what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Oh, that's some attitude. What I'm so, doing, what you think I'm paying? So, so call her. All right. Uh huh. So, so you obviously, you obviously are making uh, undertone suggestions about one of our panelists. So let me let me ask you some questions. Yeah, I'm speaking of, I'll actually, I'll Wait, do you want to fuck? Hold on, hold on. I want to hear. What's she about to say? What's she about to say? I'm sorry. I wasn't. I wasn't speaking about um, Mr. Angry Man. I was speaking about just the, just the YouTuber that I watched on YouTube before, and he has um, the bills are in his girlfriend's name, and um, he, you know he hasn't married her. He's been with her for over maybe ten years. She got to do. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you have to do. do see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I assume. <laughs> look, I assume that you're trolling, and you were talking to me because other people have tried okay. to make that accusation about me. So, if you're talking about a different YouTuber, what does that YouTuber have to do with this show? No, but the, the 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 title of the show is "Men Expect Women to Have Standards." I mean, aren't those having like? Does that man? Does that woman okay, have? Okay, okay. Let, me, let me humor her. Let me humor her. Let me humor her. Right. Standards. Okay. Go ahead. I'll say that the Go ahead. Oh, look, look. First of all, first of all, here's the thing. When we're talking about standards, we're talking about men <laughs> and women who are out in the dating world. We're talking about. Uh, having boundaries. We're talking about having um, things that you require the person to do. So if that YouTuber got in a relationship with that woman and the two of them had that arrangement and they're both Man, cool with it, that's not, that's, <laughs> that's not an issue. We're, what we're talking about is when a man gets into a relationship with a woman and expects that woman to do certain things that she requires, but the that he requires, excuse me, but she, but he doesn't do things that he requires of himself. Exactly. The way she described it is as if the woman was just doing everything, everything's in her name, and she making all the decisions and all the moves. Yeah. Because Carly, listen, you waste all these niggas out here time. You ain't gonna waste my time. What's your point? <laughs> What I'm saying is that she's making all the financial decisions and the financial moves. Well, I, I just wanted to tell you though, <clears throat> there was a time. Listen, 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 listen. That I, that, hold on, hold on. Now, 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 let me, let me say, let me. I don't know who you. I don't know what what you've been told. But like, that ain't that ain't something I'm used to hearing. I don't know what. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know. I don't know what that was. But, but let me let me just say something. I just wanted to say something. You calling into our show, okay? 
So you have to be moderated by our show. So let me just say this really quick. And it's no, there's no, you know, uh, offense to you, right? It, it, there was a time, there was a time that women used to be smart enough to understand what putting something on credit was. There was a time, right? And let me give you some game. There was a time when I was a young man, I was about 25 years old. I had A1 credit. And I and, and and I knew the game. I knew to buy some houses. I can get some equity out, pay off cars. The woman that I was with at that time, I need you now. I need you to put X, Y, and Z because I'm gonna foul BK on all this stuff, but I'm gonna move these these cars and, and, and these other assets over that's that's valued damn near a hundred grand. I'm gonna move that over. When does BK clear up? We're going to take this stuff out and put it back in my name. You understand the game now? Oh, she got hung up. Or, or phone. Oh, she did. She, yeah. Those of you who don't know, BK is bankruptcy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what people don't understand is, if people don't understand, just because if, if something is in somebody else's name does not mean that that's necessarily a bad thing if that's the plan for the household. Exactly. Men, men, you have to understand your status only matters to you. You don't need to validate that through bitches and outside people and all that other shit, right? So when these women call in and acting like, you know, they they know this, that, I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody know 50 and you calling in on any type of height, y'all going to see the silver back come out of me. I'm cause They're they going to be all type of bitches because I'm that guy. Like, you don't disrespect me in my home. I'm, I'm in my home. <laughs> Right, motherfucker, you don't you don't call in being disrespectful. Wait, caller, I gotta ask the caller question real quick. Caller, if a man has one dollar in his bank account and his woman has a million dollars, how much money does that man have? One dollar. No, oh. that's wrong. No, he has no, 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 no. He has. You suck. You suck, no, Carly. You messed up. No, no, no. He has one million and one dollars. That's how much money he has. No, he has 50 cents. Your, your money is my money. Your money is my money. That's, 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 no, no, no. I, I, I think she should be doing some laundry right now. I think I think you're calling the wrong show. Lady, when I raise my goddamn yeah, hand, you shut your yeah. ass up, lady. Shut your ass up. Let me talk. God damn it. I'm going to tell you why it's a million one dollars. Because I'm taking the time to teach you how to submit, serve, Fuck and shut the fuck up. And you're lucky I'm teaching you how to give you a, a roof over your head. And you're lucky you get my time. You're and I treat my bitch like an ATM card. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So you're you're lucky you're with Dick me. Dick is a gift. Yeah. So you're lucky. Dick is a gift. That million dollars, <laughs> my million dollars. It you is not a well, you just say it's not a gift. That means somebody ain't hit the bottom of your ass. See, and that's the problem. And see, this is why you. And see, this is why you call in. This is why you call in with all this animosity. You're still tight. You're tight. And what you need is you need a man to hit the bottom. Because I promise you, if if that man was hitting the bottom, you'd be over here with some Tupperware for Mother's Day. You'd be over here folding clothes, and you wouldn't call into no show with men. You should know better than that. You should have more guidance in your life, young lady. They think life is about hitting the bottom. Oh, come on, lady. You know life is part of that. Wait, call, wait, call her, call her, call her real quick. Quick, miss. How, 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 hold on, miss, miss, miss. Because you gave up on it, miss. Hold on, miss, miss, miss. How long? How long, how long have you, hold on, miss. How long have you been with your man? What have you built? How long have you been with your man? Call her. How long have you been with your man? Over twenty years. Over twenty. Years. So now, do you talk? Do you talk to your man this way? No, I don't Please. have to. Oh, okay, so so you don't have to. Put him on the phone. <laughs> Where's your man? I put him on the phone. Yeah, put, put him, him on the phone. <laughs> let me let me talk to the director of the household. Put him on the phone. Does he know you're on the phone with six men right now? Talking about hitting the bottom of that. Are you, does he know that? <laughs> let me just tell you what I built. Let me tell you what I built. Not only did I not only did I put the floor pants together for this house that I'm in, but I've also built. Great credit. I've also built a, a business that makes ridiculous money. So what I what, what you're talking about, I, that's who I am. 
ridiculously ridiculous endless. ridiculous money and, and let me tell you something i always try to tell men this you don't need to prove yourself to other people so i'm only answering your question right now but in all actuality what you should be doing you should have that apron on and you should be preparing mother's day dinner for the family and people who love you around you are you a mother no it's just mother's day are yeah. you a mother they have gotten me what I needed from my How many How many kids do you have, ma'am? I only have one. Oh, it's a reason. He <laughs> wanted his out. <laughs> he wanted his out. Oh, please. Wait, call it. Yeah, he, 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 wait, if I walk know. away, I only have to pay about 700 a month. Wait, does your man know that you're on the phone flirting with six other guys? How the hell am I flirting? Oh, you're definitely flirting. No, I, because yeah, I, have, I, ain't gonna lie. I I want to flirt. What you saying? <laughs> this, is, this is you right here. I'm I'm flirting. <laughs> That's you right there. <laughs> she look like Carla. Hit that damn. <laughs> that, that's the exclusive party of you. Oh, that's something. That's him in the back. Now, uh, let me hear. Let me put him on the phone. Oh, put him on the phone. Oh, please. <laughs> On the phone. He's not gonna. He's not speaking to you all on the phone. I mean, oh, so she. she so, so he told you. You just told him. Color. So you just told him that he wasn't coming on the phone. He's Don't a run bitch ass nigga. See, he see she's running the show. We get it now. It makes sense. Oh my it. god. He probably over there standing like this, like. 20 years of so, fucking so pain. My question is, so, so my question is, did you call in to like legitimately? You. Did you call in to legitimately ask that question? Or did you just call in to troll? I, no, I called in to legitimately ask the question about when what happens when women put everything in their name, but they have a guy who pretends as if he's in charge of everything. Is that what your, is that what your man does for 20 years? I was about to say, are no, you doing that? One, there's no correlation between it's something being in. It. There, there's no, first of all, there's no correlation. Everything like are, everything. Wait, are you, wait a minute. Are you listening? Stop. There is no correlation between whether or not something's in your name and whether or not you're in charge. You're, you're trying to connect those two things. That's not, that. that is a, that is. Then that's her house. It's not your house, so you can't brag and say. What do you mean in my house? If I came to your house and grabbed the Gatorade out your refrigerator, she probably, she, 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 she probably be punching her nigga in his chest. <laughs> she probably be punching her nigga in his chest, dog. Wait a second. Let me ask you this question. So let's say for argument's sake that you had a house with your man and the title of the house, the deed of the house is in your name, but he pays the mortgage every month. Are you telling me he's not in charge of that house? Well, if the deed is in both of our names, then no, 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 stop, no, 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 stop, no, stop, no. stop, stop, hold on, stop, back up for a second. That's not what I said. I'm going to say the scenario again. If the deed is in your name because he can't put it in his name for whatever reason, but he pays the mortgage every month. Is he or is he not? Yes. Is that still is that or is that not still his house? Is no. he not in charge of it? Hey, no, because at the end of the day, I have a son. So at the end of the day. If he starts to act stupid, that's my house. Do me and a favor. So Hang up on her, bro. Yeah, 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 she's, 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 she's silly. She's silly. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why we keep doing this? Listen, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her. Call her, call her, call her. We're gonna give you. Hold on. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you one last. I'm gonna give you one last chance to grant your husband permission to get on the phone because obviously, oh, I'm, and I'm waiting for him, and I'll talk to him. Put him on the phone. Hold on, hold on. Put him on the phone, please. Please. Hello. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? What's your name? What's up? Oh, hello? Oh. Your, your name is Mike? That nigga said we can... Hey, so, let me, hey, no so hold on, hold on. Let me, hey, Mike, so let me ask you a question. D are you watching the show also? No, my wife just gave me the phone. Okay, That's so her, let me let me let me let me bro. let me. That's <laughs> her changing her voice, bro. That me, is not me. a dude. Yo, that is not a man, yo. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, boy. Yo, she's a clown. This chick's no, a goofy ass. ass. She got on there selling straight Latino. <laughs> <laughs> she probably drew a squiggly mustache on her shit just now, man. God, she is so, Yo, you, are fuck? So, you are so lonely. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. Man, I, I, I angry, man. You, man. you must be doing is... something to him, man. She said, I, I, I nah, man. She, man. Got, 
she got crazy, she got, man. You gotta let her she got a she got a she got a newborn. Damn nigga. Bro, let me let me let me just say this. Let me just say this. See, this this is what happened when you haven't had good dick in a long time and you're lonely. You, you start to get delusional and you just start making up shit in your head. Man. And, and hey, you spend You know those people with half their face painted a man and then a woman on the other side? She probably turned around on the phone and shit like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe this fucking woman. No, the, she had the nerve to say I'm one of the immature men. Exactly. Man, get the fuck out of here with that. Exactly. Well, she's she, wild. She, she won't call somebody immature, but she fucking having her split personality on. on like, That's what the, it was, dude. She's so fucking mad. Like that, uh, let me let me let me let me address something. Anger man I'm triggers just, people, man. I'm telling you, anger <laughs> man and Steve, <laughs> they trigger motherfuckers, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want guys who are impressionable. No, Steve be itching, man. To get the wrong idea. Just because the shit is in a woman's name doesn't mean you less than a man, right? Now, it could be because you, maybe you got some tax liens on your shit. Maybe her credit is better than yours, but you got more money, you know what I'm saying, to spend. So you say, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put the shit in your name because the credit is better. Bankruptcy the bread, is the game. It. People don't understand bankruptcy is the game. Don't let these people fool you. Yeah. Most rich people file bankruptcy every seven to ten years. Look it up. And the reason why is because it's the smart thing to do. So I can get assets. I can then move assets to other people. And then I can file BK and we'll have nothing. I can go in there and be like, oh, this is all I got. They'll check on it. That's all you got. Okay. Once that goes through, you get these assets back. Now I'm back in the game with the credit. So now I got boats and all type of stuff that I have, and I, I don't, I don't cool. This is what I'm saying. It's the game. Don't let these people fool you. Yo, they saying in the chat that she missed Kevin Samuels. That's why she calling us. That. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, they just said what? that. They just said that about that. I was that. afraid that was gonna happen. I was afraid that. Now that they can't call him and get on his nerves, it's right. gonna be a vacuum and shit. Oh, get on Angry Man's nerves, like right. no, exactly. we're not Yo, doing. Yo, I ain't gonna. I don't know why y'all entertain that for so long, bro. That's crazy. I had a headache when she asked the first question. Yo, she, she lost me off the first question. Yo, and she fucking started talking like a dude. That shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> I ain't even catch it at first. No, and then no, I, no. I, I, I knew it was her. I don't know. Right. Like oh. look, two and nine, two and nine. You on the line? Two and nine. What's popping? Who this? <laughs> Hey, is that me? Yes, sir. What's going on? Man, I can't believe your last caller, bro. Like, <laughs> I had flashbacks to some of uh, Kev's uh, clips, man. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, man, like, uh, the problem with modern women, man, is like, uh, where, you know, what's the uh, uh, submission cost? You know, it's like they always want to know about your, uh, your, your metrics, right? But the moment you uh, flip the script on them, all of a sudden it's a problem. Well, that's an easy way to just portray their projection, right? So we're here trying to help them get cured, but there's so much resistance on there. And at some point, it's like, why am I even trying? So wait. Resistance for what? Yeah, what are you saying? What, what you said, the problem with modern women? <clears throat> yeah, because we... <clears throat> yeah, the problem with modern women is that there's too much friction, right? There's too much resistance. Okay, wait, wait, stop right there, stop right there. Stop. No, 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 for who? I'm about, for who? I'm about to get him. I'm about to get him. Right there. For who? Yeah, who wants to start with this one? I'll start real quick. Okay, uh, you know why there's resistance, right, caller? I'm aware of that. Why? No, tell me. Tell me. What's the reason? They're too self-centered. No, 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 no. That's the wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. No, 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 no. You're the reason, caller. There's resistance. You are the reason. That's why there's resistance. Can you explain how? How how am I the reason okay, I'm trying to fix it? Okay, let's say let's say you, you meet hear a, yourself. Let's say you meet a girl named Tiffany, right? Tiffany comes up to you, she's giving you resistance. She's this modern woman. When I meet Tiffany, Tiffany doesn't give me any resistance. So is it her or is it us? Because she's acting two different ways. We're talking about the general public, right? Which is what y'all are doing. Right. And so then, why are you grouping yourself in with people that distribution curve, right? We don't talk about outliers and exceptions when we talk about general masses, right? We're generalizing here. So don't make this about me and you. Stand so wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Call her, call her, call her. So you're the general. You're, you're the general masses because you're having issues. We don't have these issues with women. That's what we're saying. I don't have issues. I'm talking on behalf of all your callers before me that have issues, and I'm agreeing with what you all are saying. So I'm not understanding this uh, miscommunication. Okay, hold, on, hold on, real quick. Let me, let me, let me, let me talk to him. Call her. See what you have to understand is now they're going to be a small listen caller listen listen 
there will be a small group of women who ain't shit. It don't matter what guy get a hold of them. But the average woman, when she comes into contact with men, she treats men differently. And the reason why she treats men differently is because of how those men are. So a lot of times when guys are having trouble with women, it's not necessarily the woman. It's because of how that guy is presenting himself. Do, does that make sense to you? You could apply that to anybody without any uh, MRF attached to it. But any what? All right, Carla, Carla, let's get very specific then. Since you don't like, let's not generalize. Let's get very specific. Can we get an interaction or a circumstance where you describe how these events worked? You know, your uh, proof for your situation. Speak up for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I'm curious because I don't get, I don't understand this resistance. I have like all answers that could go many ways. So give us. An I, I'm. I'm. What are you? You're the one bringing it up. You can't defend and explain what you're talking about. Yeah, give us an example of the resistance in your life. Enlighten me. Here, in, oh, like I said, I don't have any resistance. I've gotten any chick that I ever talked to, right? Oh but my god! About- yeah, I can tell. Oh. <laughs> I, I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> You didn't have to say it, Mr. Bitches. We, we can hear it. Call, call it. Stop, man. <laughs> stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y- y- I should tear up that clip, though. But, you know. <laughs> <I know. laughs> he hung up. He hung up. He knew he was on oh, something. my God. Like, this motherfucker, man. I've never had resistance from any woman that I... Come on. Wait, Who the yeah, fuck yeah, ever yeah, said the word right resistance, with, bro? Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this to, to the people listening. The reason why we don't talk about women like a lot of people do. Now, we might have uh, certain videos where we point out certain things about women, but it's only because it's a teachable moment. But the reason why we don't sit here and just go in and talk about women is because we know how to conduct our lives in such a way where we don't deal with those women. And if and when we come across a woman that's being resistant, we just get rid of them. Right. The problem with the average guy, you keep dealing with them. So, so, So the disrespect keep going and going. And then, like, L, you said it earlier. Guys start to blame the women. Oh man, she treated me like shit. I man, she she cursed me out. Mm-hmm. No, you, cause you, the way you approached her in the very beginning was on some whole shit. Mm-hmm. You being a bitch ass mm-hmm. nigga in the very beginning, so she treated you as you acted. Mm-hmm. And now you mm-hmm. had. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tolerance. You gotta realize mm-hmm. about that chick that just called in. She didn't call in to be serious, and she was <laughs> directing it towards me because my my woman has a bend. She just didn't think I was going to put my woman on the phone. Mm-hmm. And she didn't think she was going to hear that answer. When when I said, yo, she said, you own everything's in your name. And she's like, she is. Because the shit that we have is a lot of shit. And, mm-hmm. and, and somebody got to pay for that shit. And, and I'm paying for that shit. So trying to, you know, trying to apply that to me is, is goofy as hell. But that's what she called in for. And you guys got to realize that those type of women... You're not supposed to be dealing with those type of women in the first place. Somebody that's so goofy and so immature that you ask them to put their man on the phone and then she changes her fucking voice. Hello. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's childish. That's immature. You know what I'm saying? And, so, and here's what I would say on that. Like, oh, my fault. What you doing, man? No, I ain't in the row. Yeah, y'all, y'all dude's tolerance be so high. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, listen, I, I probably cut off four times as many women that I have. Mm-hmm. But my talent, the line with me is so thin. Something could turn me off like that. Something, something could rub me the wrong way like that. Something could cross my line like that. And a lot of times, I'm gonna only say it once. Exactly. I'm gonna only say it one time. Mm-hmm. I had this one girl I was messing with, and she was, she would always try to like, um, I say I would leave, and then she would, she would like text about a problem that she had, but she wouldn't say it to me right then and there. Mm-hmm. I told her, listen, I don't argue over text. I don't even argue. You gonna you either gonna communicate clearly. Or we're not gonna talk at all. She brought something up over the messages again after I said that. Saw me in person. And said, "Why didn't you text me back?" All I did was this. <laughs> and she said, "And she said, well, I knew you weren't gonna text back." She corrected herself. Mm-hmm. Why? Why? Listen, cause she her she was on her way out the door, bro. Why are y'all tolerance so low for these women, bro? The moment a line is crossed, something rubs you the wrong way. That's it. Sad. And it ain't no it ain't nothing to explain, negotiate, or debate. <laughs> Once you say, listen. Once you say what you say, you set that line in the sand. You and you and you let it be there. Stop tolerating such bullshit. See that last call with that? I wouldn't even have tired. What are you talking about right now? I don't want to talk about this. Right. Well, I just think that it would have been over right there. Jug, jug season, exactly. Zero tolerance, bro. Facts. All these bullshit y'all be no taking bullshit. from these women. Let's get to this uh, call eight eight three two eight three two. What's popping? Who this? 
832 going once. 832 going twice. All right, that's it. Yeah, I'm Get out of here, up. you damn nigga. All right. So, guys, call the number 516-387-1224. 516-387-1224 is the number. If you have a question, put a Q in the chat, and we'll get, the, get that shit cracking. Yeah, and to all these little chat people, they're being disrespectful, man. Get a hold of them, motherfuckers. I, I don't... <clears throat> I cannot stand a, a keyboard warrior, man. I just I cannot stand those people, man. They piss mm-hmm. me off. They are the same people that walk right past you in the street, though. They won't say nothing. Right. Oh, bro, I'll be, I'll be asking them where they live at, bro. When they start talking to them, where you live at, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> they say in Texas, I'm like, oh, I'm in Texas, nigga. What's up? Calling guy. Okay, 832 is coming back. Hold on. 832, eight, what's good? 832. Nigga, you got to get your phone checked, brother. Cause I ain't hearing shit. All right, eight three two. You got you got to get your phone checked and call back, bro. Man. All right, so guys, call the number five one six three eight seven one two two four five one six three eight seven one two two four is the number. You know also, I mean? if you have a question, put a Q in the chat. <clears throat> yes. Stop stop asking goofy elementary shit. Cause I'm seeing some really goofy questions that, as a grown man, look. Let me tell y'all something. Um, I wish there was a way we can card these niggas. And find out these niggas, it gotta be 18 to be up in here because some of y'all niggas be asking questions like y'all 13. Like, <laughs> this is a grown man, like for real. Hold on, let's let's get another call. Hold on. Um call it one one one. What's good? Hello, this is Rashida. How are you? Nah, I forgot here. She changed her voice again. Uh, get the fuck out of no here! More, no more one 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 calls. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah, I mean, yo, she this probably is thinks this shit funny. This shit more annoying than anything. Hey, 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 hey. See, in, in, in us men, we, we're not like we're not used to stocking. Like we don't like we don't like bitches to stock us and key our cars and all that. So we just tell them the truth. Mm-hmm. Well, this bitch is calling. Had, this bitch is just calling in, stocking us, bro. I, I haven't had my uh, car. I'm starting to feel I, uncomfortable I been, and shit. I have been stocked though. I, See, I'm, I'm gonna walk, changed my number a couple times and shit. Nigga, my, my fucking angry man got true stalkers. And my fucking, <laughs> she called back. Hey, I don't know if you was you heard. You, did you hear it with another voice? Yeah, nigga, she called in again. That's crazy. So let's go to we're gonna go to five one six, five one six, and then eight three two five one six. At this point, she's gonna start calling on the roof and shit. Five six one, my man. Five six one, what's going on? Yo, yo, what's going on? Hey, first things first. Hey, W Dojo. First thing I gotta say. Second thing, um, cool. Uh, Last night. Walk down in the city, right? She didn't go as planned. I'm just trying to see if 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 if, if it's like a if I just turned wrong or oh, let's unpack this. Let's unpack this. Is, is it like let's unpack this? Huh? You so what? Yeah, yeah that's it. unpack this. Take it from the top. All right, cool. So um, me and my me and my people was going out, right? Because it was my grandma's birthday. We went out to this little restaurant or whatever. Um, that's what I'm eating, but... We went out man, to man, man, get that, put that fucking plate down, my nigga. You ain't... Talk, Come man. on, gang. Listen, we need 60 seconds. 60 seconds, tell us the story. What's the, what's the issue? Go ahead, 60 seconds. Go ahead. All right, that I peeped sure he was looking at me like... Every time she passed by, I, I peeped. We made eye contact and shit. No, 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 no. no. Oh, he was looking God. at her. These motherfuckers. He was looking at her every time she passed by. These motherfuckers. Get it, get it right. yeah, yeah. You already let us know a crazy ass detail. All right, keep going. Keep going, Carla. No, 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 no. No, I'm a, I'm a no just flow the story. Flow the story. Don't defend it. Just fl- flow the story. She was looking at you. You've seen it, right? All right. Next, what happened? Mm hmm. What happened? What the hell, nigga? Like, like, I, I, I choked on my food. Come on, man. Come on, nigga. <laughs> nigga, hurry up. We got other calls. What happened? Go ahead. All right. After, after we got finished with what, all that, I went to go. I went to go. I went to go ask for. I went to ask for the numbers. Fuck. What is wrong with you, niggas, in your ability to communicate? Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. Right there. Okay. Can we okay. get a concise yeah. story? Uh, yeah, okay. bro. He, 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 oh, he said some shit that caught my attention. Yo. He said some shit that caught my attention. <clears throat> I can't stand when niggas do this. 
So you saw this oh, shit yeah. passing you by multiple times. You was looking for choosing signals, obviously. So you approach oh, her yeah. and you said you went to go get the number. Why would you do that? Why would you go up to her and get her phone number? Explain. <clears throat> Just say I wanted it. Yeah, I mean, I wanted it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Why did you Why? want it? So a nigga can what? So a nigga can what? Like I can't, I can't just want. So what you're saying is I, no, 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 bro, no. say what you want to say. Fuck what everybody else saying, bro. Stand on what you're saying. For the question. What just stand on your. Let's answer that question, please. Why? Why did you want her phone number, sir? Cause she was, she was a. She was bad, so she was she was a decent little light skin. All right, okay. you, you at your you at your grandma birthday party? You sure that wasn't your little cousin or something? Okay, hold on, real quick. So call her. So call her. Let me let me let me let me let me help you out. Let me help you out. Hold on, call her. Call her. Call her. Because you having trouble articulating yourself. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Nigga, shut up. Nigga, nigga, shut up for a second. Listen. Listen. So you saw her while you were looking at her. Did you ever think about sex at all? Did, did it cross your mind? Huh? huh? <laughs> when you when saw you, her, I hear you. What you say? Okay, when you saw her, did sex with her cross your mind? No. no. Steve, Steve, get the clip ready. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, the fuck was you thinking about? You Gil Kurt? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god! Stop fucking lying! That shit never me, gets old, bro. Yeah, let, let me finish making my point. That never gets old. To you guys, so Carla, listen up. The reason why I'm asking you what I'm asking you is because you didn't say I walked up to her and we spoke for a little while and I got her number. You said I walked up to Shorty to get her number. The problem that I have with what you're saying is. A lot of you niggas do that. Y'all just get the number. The chick don't even know what the fuck you want. You didn't sit there and properly lay it out as far as how shit was going to go down between you and her. You just wanted to get the number as if you was doing something. As if you was accomplishing some shit. So what I'm telling you is, if you saw Shorty, and the first thing you thought about is, damn, she's sexy, I want to bang that out. When you have a conversation with her, express that shit to her before mm -hmm. you get the number. See, when you get the number, it should only be because... You guys mutually agree to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Did you understand that? Okay. And when you say it didn't go as planned, there was no plan. Right. You didn't have a plan. You just hated yourself and begged for a number. <laughs> why <laughs> Call her. Why didn't you give her your number? Dweller. Service dweller. <laughs> Hello? Nigga, nigga eat his raviolis and shit. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, go ahead. Why didn't you give her your number? Cause I was thinking about that because literally it was about to it was literally it was about to dip. So I just tried to get the number and then boom. But you okay. right, I didn't have a plan beforehand, and that was my fault. Then why are you calling us? We can't we can't conjure up. I'm not fucking doctor or what's the doctor, what you call it, strange. I can't. <laughs> Call her, call her, look, look, call her, call her. When you, when you see a woman that you're interested in, before you approach her, have your plan, your game plan, and then verbalize that shit, execute that shit, right then and there. But you do what most niggas do. Y'all are afraid to tell women exactly what it is, so you get her number, and then you go home, and then you text some fly shit. All the shit you should have said to her face, you text that shit because you're scary. Mm -hmm. Admit that. Just, just say I'm scared. I'm scared of the pussy. Just say it. Just say it. Just say I'm scared to tell a woman to her no, face what I, I want. No, no, Carl. Don't say. Just go. Hey, Carl, go meow. <laughs> don't do that. Oh boy, funny. Nah, nah. I thought he was really gonna do that shit. I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to lose my. Listen, call you need you need you need some coaching, so hit us up at realgamenotheory.com and holler at us for coaching so we could we could you know help you out with this man. But we appreciate yeah, we it. Fix your life, man. We need to fix your life. All right, let's go to eight eight three two eight three two. Let's 
Let me, let me tap into something real quick. And here's where it goes back to the man in these situations because what are you expecting from yourself? As a man, I expect that I say what I mean and I mean what I say. Mm -hmm. So you going over there approaching that girl, you got something to say and it's something you want to get off your chest and it's a reason behind it. Say say what you mean and mean what you say. Because right. guess what? She's going to respond to that and she's going to follow your lead now. Now she at least has something to say yes to or follow because you set the blueprint, you set the plan. Exactly. Hey, I just had to come over here, man. The, man, the way you looked in that motherfucker, blah, 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 blah. All right, my name is such and such. You introduce yourself, you lay out the blueprint, and you finish the fucking the whole shit. Yeah. Right. That's and, and, it. You could just say, Ty, on some real shit. Hey, look, I don't want to hold you. I'm busy. I know you're busy. Here's my number. Why don't you call me tomorrow when you wake up in the morning? You know, I got some free time tomorrow night. You know, I want to see if we can get together. Here's my number. And then walk the fuck off. Mm. She calls you or she doesn't. It don't matter. But guys exactly. just walk up. Hi, miss. How you doing? Can I have your phone number? <laughs> I was like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Right. So, so eight eight three two. Are you are you there? Eight three two. Man, eight three two. You're done, bro. You gotta get your phone fixed, man. Uh, let's go to uh, eight five six. Eight eight five Hello? six. What's popping? Who this? Eight five six. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on? Uh, what's up? First of all, I just want to say R.P. Kevin Samuel. Mm -hmm. Um, he was the first person that I really looked into. Oh, what is your fucking question, life. man? What is your uh, question, caller? What is your fucking question? My question is not really. It's more hey, hang though. the phone up, then we're here to answer questions. Hang the phone up. Go ahead, hang up on us. <laughs> <laughs> he actually hung up. So that way we can we, we can get we can get past this shit. Well, all right, men okay. following orders. Yeah. Uh, uh, R.I.P. to the nigga. He he gone. Cool. Whatever. But this show isn't about trying to relive the nigga memory. You know what I'm saying? This show is real game, no theory, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Call in. Let's talk about our shit. Come on. Let's all, right. Go, man. all right. Let's go to nine nine two nine two nine and then eight three zero nine two nine. Not too now. What's pop? Yeah, hey, what's up? What's up? Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, what, sir. Up? what up? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah um, 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 the number one question, right? Um, uh, that I would like to ask: like, Do you believe, like, um, a female when she says she's uh celibate? Man, it's, hard. it's hard. What difference? Talk, listen, what difference do it make, talk, bro? Dog. What difference do it make? <clears throat> so, caller, why why do you care if she says she's celibate? No, nah, because you know, you that. I mean, I've been talking to females that like, um, you know, sometimes they'd be like, oh, yeah, she's celibate. No, that's not I, I, I mean, oh, no, no, no. Color, what difference does it make? I, believe, believe. I wouldn't care if she tells that. Her top yeah, half ain't celibate. <laughs> that, that, that top of hers ain't celibate. <laughs> she's, she's, she's telling him she's celibate because he has no game. Right. So, Carla, right. the only reason she's saying know. that to you is because she's trying to get rid of you bro. and she doesn't like you because you're a weirdo. I'll make sure I go to her house after the gym um, <laughs> <laughs> for her celibacy. Right. <laughs> yeah, fact. So, so yeah, so call it. Don't worry about that shit. Just understand she's telling you that shit because she ain't trying to fuck you. And then you just move on to the next chick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me, hold on, real quick. Let me, let me say this. this. This is what kills me about you niggas. If you're dealing with a woman... And you have your agenda, you have your plan of action, you have whatever it is you want to do. If the woman is saying and or doing anything that's providing resistance to what you want to do, does it really matter why? Right. It, it shit ain't going how you wanted to go. Just leave the situation and go to the next chick. But call her. Oh, yeah, it's bad. Oh, no, hold on. Was she bad? <laughs> she was bad, wasn't she? The ass was fat, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you really wanted to hear it. He was dreaming about that shit, wasn't he? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, dreaming about it. This is I gotta catch. This is I gotta catch. This is I catch. The other caller called in earlier and said something like, "Well, you know, the general general men's experience and blah blah." Right. Because y'all y'all do the same shit. Exactly. Y'all create the statistics. Exactly. Every time you you do that bullshit when she tests you or tries you and you fold, you add it to the statistic. You had a choice. I want to give a shout out to Taekwondo right now, man. Let me let me just say this really quick. <clears throat> let me let me say this really quick. Man. I've, been, I've been I've been I've been watching this 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 young grown man right here, and let me and, I, and I'm so happy he's on the show because 
it's so we we've dealt with a lot of motherfuckers calling in talking about our old ass. Right. And these old motherfuckers. Game don't change, man. This dude is, I don't know how old this young cat is, but I know this cat is young. And he's a part of the team. And what I'm telling you is right now, dog, there's no fucking excuse for you not to have that game. Straight exactly. up, man. That's facts. Real <laughs> shit, real shit. And call, you can get the call, call if you need any help. Hit us up, realgamenotheory.com. All right. Let's go to uh, 803. 803. 803. What's up, what's up, what's up y'all? What's poppin'? Y'all can hear me, right? Yes, sir. Right, what's going on? Verizon. Um, all right. I, I got no, I'm going to ask y'all this. I don't want y'all to come up because I want to make sure that y'all understand every one, which one, every one of y'all, right? So, Steve and uh, Fondo and Lucario and everybody in the set right now, y'all don't fuck, y'all, y'all, y'all go, y'all do it your own way. Like, y'all approach each other different. Like, Steve might do something different. Uh, Lucario, Lucario. As we should. As we should. So that means that, no, listen, so, so that means that. Can you get to your point? Well, I'm not listening to bullshit, so, Birdie. So, 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 so I don't, I can't just copy what Steve word for word. But if I get to know wait, myself, wait, wait, tell you the way this ain't no red pill shit, brother. Wait, stop, 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 call it. This ain't no red pill bitch ass shit. This is man. We ain't no man of spheres or anything like that. We don't tell you what to do. We tell you how to think for your fucking self. Hold on, stop, call it. Wait, listen. We never tell you what to do. We teach you how to think for yourself. It's the one thing nobody does but nobody. men like us. We tell you to think for yourself. So don't try to be us because we never told you to be us, brother. The fuck are you talking every, about? Every man? single person on this panel moves different. Yo, starting, starting this week, I'm, I'm teaching grammar and English. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you Negroes to show up because the way you motherfuckers communicate and convey what you think and feel is horrible. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, we just did a show the other the other week talking about how grown men communicate. I guess niggas didn't watch that show. <laughs> Shit is horrible. Y'all get up here mm -hmm. with the that it's just that it was hard for me to elaborate on because Steve oh, right bro, there. Stop. Stop uh, talking. Stop talking for a second. 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 Number one, when I when I get ready to speak as a grown man, one, I'm going to say what I'm saying concisely to the point. I'm not gonna have a bunch of yeah. you know what I'm saying and like and and, and like you know because you know you feel what me. is and you feel me and you bro that, that that is too much man. You got mm -hmm. you got to get to your point so that you can communicate. Properly, and that's probably the reason why a lot of you guys have so much difficulty whenever you converse back and forth with women. Facts. Because you're confusing the fuck out of them, and and women are not used to hearing men speak like that. Women are used to hearing men speak concisely, to the point, and and what's on their mind. Mm -hmm. Am you, you just had two women confirm it? April AMC and bronze lips was a bond, bronze dip sun kiss. They, yeah. They're talking about the communication thing. See, Carla, what you have to understand is if we get knowing you about your communication, what do you think women think? And, and Carla, what, what is your actual question though? I want, and I'm confused by a question. What's the question? No, that, that was the question earlier about me talking, me um, going up to women. <laughs> but when Steve um, break everything down, I'm gonna copy what Steve do. But Steve told me not to do that. Be myself, get to know myself, and put my bid in. Why but would you copy what another man says? On. I know I ain't the damn only one, but other people probably getting confused like that. Uh, uh, well, hold on, hold on. You're hold gonna on. start paying Steve every hold time. On, Steve, you on. gotta start say, uh, say, trademarking call your call shit, call man. Think about what you just said. Call it. Steve, my nigga. Call it. Hold on, call it, call it, call it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what guys got to understand. You said you was going to copy the shit that Steve says. What you don't understand is that what Steve says is what Steve said. Meaning that's from him. Mm -hmm. That That's his personality, his his natural charisma or whatever he got going on. That's from him. That's some shit that sound natural rolling off his lips. It won't sound natural rolling off your lips because you ain't that nigga. Mm -hmm. You that other nigga. Mm -hmm. That nigga that don't feel comfortable okay. saying that shit. So, right. so when you say it, it come off awkward. And, and yeah, if you're trying to copy Steve, you can only my fault, Steve. You can only no, be as good as you can only be as good as Steve is. 
So you need to set your own bar for yourself, your individual lane, my nigga. You need to have your own standard, your own competition, your own accountability, your own sense of responsibility. So yeah, when you yeah. go up to that girl and you fumble and start stuttering and say some bullshit, you look yourself in the mirror, man, that bitch ass shit I just did. You have to be able to check yourself, my money. Because listen, that's why with a lot of my videos, I don't even make it about the women. I make it about you as the man because y'all don't realize. Y'all can't even form a sentence, express yourself clearly, uh, uh, or even get to a point. Y'all spend so much time beating around the bush, y'all run in circles. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Here's, here's the thing. Lucario, 1950, Angry Man, Zag, Miles, Taekwondo. We are all callers trying to show you how to do the one thing that you don't do, and that's communicate with yourself first. You do not communicate with self. And if you cannot communicate with yourself, you ain't going to know what the fuck to do. So you're not me. You're not Lucario. You're not none of these men on the panel. None of them. You're yourself. And what we're trying to do is stop looking. See where you've been. Here's the problem. We know. He's I know you can't. That's a yeah, you can, you know, there's some YouTube street shit, yeah. Lucario. Because you came where you came from, you were being handheld and spoon fed and tucked in with some warm milk. You over here with some pipe hitting real motherfuckers that get pussy, unlike those over there. And we're saying be your fucking self by communicating to your fucking self. But you don't want to do that. You want us to hold your fucking hand and coddle your ass, man. All right, caller. So listen. If you need coaching, what it sounds like you do, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holla at us, real game, no theory, and don't ask us to tell you what to say word for word. Learn yourself so that you can come up with your own words to say. You get can it? You, can you email me a template on what I should say? Right. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me just say this. If you're looking for scripts, handouts, oh, and... and uh, they be looking for pickup lines. That shit right. don't as soon as they get in a different circumstance, they don't know what to say. Or you're reusing the same line, which is not as effective in right. that one circumstance. You right. have to be adaptable. I, I think that's know, bad that's coaching. Nigga, that's I think that's terrible coaching if, if I only set you up to be good at the three-point line. Or right. you can't do a layup. You can't lay up with your left arm. You can't shoot from the... the you know what I'm saying? Right. I want y'all to be adaptable and consistent. It don't matter what you say. It's the motherfucker that's saying it. It's always going to hit the same. You, Facts. You, said, you said something important, Ty. My thing is, I can give you a pickup line that sounds good when you say hello, but what if she reacts completely different than you expected? What you gonna do then? Exactly. You do a monkey wrench in your shit. Now you're like, uh, 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 I thought she was gonna say, yes, I'm going back to the crib with you, but she said some other shit. She said, why would I go back and fuck you? I don't know how to respond to that. Damn. This is what, the pickup line shit don't work. This is why you gotta be a man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you gotta do shit your way. And like you said, to be adaptable. Be adaptive and understand that nothing a woman can say can ever shake you. Like, chick, I, I got, anything you can say, I gotta come back for it. Right away, and, that's, that's, and, and, and it's gonna be flirtatious too, uh, and, and, and it's gonna make you you gonna know exactly what the fuck I want. Like, so and this is the thing, dudes don't realize. Once we get outside of the you're struggling with game, then we get out, get on the side of you have no challenges. You have now we get into the side of you have to be able to recognize the situation and realize you might not even have to do as much as you thought you did. Mm -hmm. You might get the pussy quicker than you thought of. You might get it faster. You might say one sentence and that start a whole a whole thread of now she horny and the, so y'all got to. This is why you need to be adaptable because you have to be able to recognize the situation, change it, moves, and then you know what I'm saying. Start scoring again. Exactly. So let's go to eight zero five. Eight zero five. What's popping? What's good? Eight zero five. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what up? Yo, yo, yo. I need some advice, bro. I need some tips. Is I think in a couple months I'm about to head to college, but as of right now, I have no experience at all, bro. So, so when you said you have no experience, or uh, are you saying that you have yet to penetrate a woman? Is, is that what you're saying? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh my god! How old are you? Twenty. Bro, they, in high school, they they give okay. pussy. Yeah, they are. You're disgracing me, man. Why don't you have experience? Yeah. Let's, let's get to this part first. Let's get to the root of the issue. They why don't you have experience? Because I never put myself out there. I guess yeah. Opportunities have never come to your door. I think I'm a, I think I'm a good looking dude, but I just don't. Come but listen, 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 listen. Even I'm, for dudes that don't put I'm, themselves I'm, out there, good opportunities. Good listen, good opportunities never came to your door. Girl never start flirting with you and never, you know, 
I had, I probably, I probably squandered it. How and why? Like, uh, one time. Go ahead, let it all, leave it all, put your heart on your sleeve, man. Leave it on the table, man. Go ahead. No, wait, it's embarrassing. Of course it is. Of course but we it don't is. personally know you, so go ahead and just say your shit. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Because you got, what you got to realize is before you can even start to get into the pussy, you got a lot of bad habits. Mm-hmm. You got a lot of fear in, in your game and your sense of self. Just don't right. break down and start crying. See, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know what it is? You know what it is? He, 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 I've never he, shared this with anyone. He, he, he's acting, he's acting I'm going to let you know right now. Shy. He's acting all shy and bashful right now. We can't even see the nigga. Right. We don't know who he is. So imagine when he face to face with a chick. Hey, all, all I'm saying is, He's probably closing his blinds now. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember my grandfather told me, he said, he said you, know, you, you know what you used to, used to feel bad for? The the male flamingo, they, they, you're fucking pink and you look like the bitch, right? You never want to be a fucking flamingo, bro. So what I'm saying is, be a fucking lion, okay? You only got you, you don't look like nobody else and you dominate, okay? So what I'm trying to tell you is, man, get it in your mind right now that you're fucking good looking, right? Let's go ahead and get that started because you was like, I think I'm fairly fairly good looking. Well, I'm 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 nice as fuck, okay? I'm sexy as fuck, okay? And the reason why is because whoever's in my presence is going to feel that way. I don't give a fuck about all these ones who don't. But the ones who are going to be with me, they're going to be like, oh, man, he is sexy as fuck. That's the only ones you need to worry about, right? So then let's break it down even more. It does not matter what they feel. It matters what you feel. Because if you go in any situation looking for somebody else to make you feel a way, you will lose every time. So you have to be prepared mentally. You have to prepare yourself before you do anything in life. You got to have standards and beliefs behind everything. Mm-hmm. You understand? See, caller, you know, you, yeah. you know that the reason why you have having issues with women is the same reason. Like you being scared to talk to us is the same as you being scared to talk to a woman. Yeah. You understand? So if you're scared to talk to us, you ain't gonna be able to talk to the women. Like you just said, it's embarrassing. Right. You see what I'm saying? So so you gotta get you gotta get over that that fear. So and and this is the thing, and Steve always asks this question, and I want you to answer this question. Why does why would a woman want to fuck you? Because I'm attracted to her. Say that again. Yeah, I just had something. You wanna you want to okay. So you're saying she would want to fuck you because you're attractive? Is that your answer? Yeah, to her, right? Okay, what makes you attractive? Uh, look, maybe personality. Okay, wait, stop, stop right there, stop right there. Hold on, you say you're going to college, hold on, you going to college, right? Yeah. So you think there aren't going to be other good-looking guys on the campus? Uh, you're right, you're right. Exactly. So your looks cancel out. And you said personality, but you're scared to talk. So what type of personality is that being attractive if you're scared to talk? You see what I'm saying? So what we're trying to get you to understand yeah, is, understand, is your issue is that you need to learn games so that you can step your shit up so that you can become that attractive guy when women want to fuck. Yeah, call it. You call it. One thing you have to understand is you're running into a bus of women that no longer have parental supervision. They, they're tired of you uh, sorry, weak-ass high school uh, guys that don't know what you're doing. They're looking for men. They're looking to get their knees yeah. pinned in their shoulders. They're looking to have a great time. And they're not going to want to do it with you. Now, listen, if they're hungry, if they want to hang out or or, mm-hmm. or 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 put a shoulder to cry on. when they some gas money. money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They need some gas money. Man, hey, you're going to be, you're there. You're the guy. They just, <laughs> hey, just you're the guy. Well, Every, even the boy, he's a fluffer. So, so hold on. He's a fluffer. You call him a fluffer. Yeah, he's a fluffer. If y'all don't know, if, if y'all don't know, what, you don't a know what a fluffer is, is. Yeah. you don't know what a fluffer is. Look at us. Look at us. I don't know what a fluffer is. Google fluffer. Yeah, fluffer. <laughs> if you don't, guys, if you don't know what a fluffer is, before the before the man penetrates the woman, there is always a guy in porn. That, in, porn. Oh, is, in porn, there's always oh. someone that uh, sets the scene correctly. Right. <laughs> to arouse him, to get him aroused. Yeah, there, there, there you go. So, so yeah. call her. So call her. Call her. You know, you know, back, you know, back in my youthful yeah. days when I when I was a young lad, right? You know, that was a time when I was a little shy. I wasn't, you know, you know, a little bashful. 
you know, introverted type of little nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I was that way when I was a youngster. I was a teenager, right? I never had a problem yeah. attracting women to me. I never had that problem. The only problem I had was everybody else was fucking but me. That's the problem mm. that I had. Mm. So one day, I'm hanging with these two partners of mine. And they're telling me about all this fucking they've been doing. Yeah. And, and, and I said, I'm, I'm getting tired of hearing these fucking mm. stories <laughs> about how these niggas is fucking. I want my own story. That nigga was fucking hot. <laughs> I mean, right, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, so I'm hearing these stories, and one hearing day, about spinning, spinning, spinning after, bottle and all the shit, huh? After, after, after a football game, right? That's this nigga. After a football game, we went. To Hi, a party. go get it. This nigga here. So after a football game, we went to a party, but we went to a party on another side of town, which was like our kind of rival high school. And I met this chick that was really into a nigga. And that particular night, I said, I want my own story. So I just told her I wanted to fuck. Mm -hmm. Now we didn't fuck that night, but we fucked like a week later. But my 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 point is, I said I'm tired of being a guy that ain't got no fucking stories to tell, right? Mm -hmm. So I got over my little anxiety yeah. or my little fucking shyness or whatever. And from that day forward, I was a beast after that, like literally a beast after that. And it, it just took me to get out of my own way. So what I'm telling you is, you know, Steve, this nigga Steve that shit. <laughs> you, you're in your own way. Okay, you are. Society ain't. Women aren't. You are literally in your own way. You Look, you have shackles around your mind. Mm -hmm. Unleash them shits. Right. And call her. If you need some help, hit us up. RealGameNoTheory.com. Get this coaching and we'll get it cracking. But we appreciate the call, my brother. Uh, let's go to 361. Three, 361. Three, What's popping? Who this? 361. Hold on. Let me just, he, he got two of his numbers on here. 361. 361. Yes, sir. What's going on? Uh, my question is, I just moved to this new school, right? And it'd be a whole bunch of females there. And how do I fuck with multiple females at once and how the other ones in jail? No, no, no. No, you need one. No, no. Stick how do one. I? Who, how, how are you First getting permission? Who, all, are we who can give you permission 18? to do something? Yeah, yeah. How old are you, caller? How old are you? 17. Oh, nigga. Have a good day. Listen. I told you we need to call oh, these niggas. Call us next year. Call us next year, bro. <laughs> We need to electronically card these niggas when they come into the chat. Right. Let's go to 732. 732. What's popping? Who this? Hey, what's up? It's Rashawn. I donated. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, my brother. What's going on with you, man? Yeah, so um, I definitely want to... Uh, I appreciate a 1950 and uh, Angry Man for uh, paying attention to mannerisms and how niggas is talking nowadays. I appreciate that, man. Um, I... I yeah, 1950, he made a video talking about mannerisms, and he, he made a list of, you know, what, what niggas be saying that sound pussy. Yeah. I, I agree with 100% of what he was saying. But um, I want to add to what Angry Man was saying, because he said some real shit. He's saying, uh, you know, he wants to teach grammar. I used to have issues communicating as well. But my issues came from me thinking about what, mother, what motherfuckers thought I was going to say or what I was going to look like saying whatever I had to say and being the coolest nigga. And I was stuttering like a motherfucker. I was saying words that ain't make no sense. I never got to my point. Okay. But now I've got that boldness and that thick skin to be able to do that. So I'm just saying for everybody that's watching that has these issues, it's not just the words and the vocab and how you say certain sentences, um, but it's also your boldness, your, your comfort in yourself. Hmm. So that, that's all I wanted to say. That's so, on a real quick, real quick. On, on a real, I'm glad you called in and said that. Because you said something that a lot of guys need to pay attention to. Okay, you was talking about you was overly concerned with what other people thought about you. Mm. And, and, and the shit that you said, you was worried about what they would think about what you said. And, and here's the problem with a lot of guys. That's their problem. They're mm -hmm. worried about how they're going to be perceived. Number one, if you are a solid dude, if you're on point, you feel like anything I say is righteous. It just depends on how the other person going to take it. I can't help how they take the shit. Right. This is why when, when you hear women publicly say, oh, it's disrespectful to bring up sex right away. If a chick is sexually attracted to you, it's not disrespectful to her. Right. You know I'm saying? This is why you can't listen to motherfuckers. Do you. If, as long as you do you and you stay true to who the fuck you are, you're going to run into people who appreciate that about you and they're going to fuck with you. Facts. That's real shit, man. Respect. And that's what's up, Call. Appreciate the call, my brother. Let's go to uh 281. 281. What's popping? Who this? Yes, sir. This is my time. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? What up? What up? What's going on? Y'all hear me? Yeah, man. I just, I've been tuned in. I've just been watching the shit, man. And I, I, I like what y'all saying and shit, but I really think like 
I like yeah, y'all, y'all kind of like steering a lot of people in the wrong way. I got a lot of people thinking that they can get bitches when they like a lot of niggas is not meant to get bitches. Wait, wait, sir, 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 sir. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 is there any sticker saying that we're getting you women or are we trying to get you to get your fucking self? What is it, man? What is it? Yeah, uh, like, I, I got, this is what I'm saying. Uh, I got myself already. Like, I'm just a different type of nigga. Like, I can wear the right clothes and get chosen with my mouth closed. Like, I don't, I don't, oh, okay, my on, God. He <laughs> act like he heavyweight pimping, huh? I got, all, I got oil on my tongue. I talk slick, huh? Okay. I hear you. A lot of the men that follow us, they don't want to be players, bro. A lot of these niggas want to be booed up. To be yeah, they want to be in a relationship. Yeah, they so, want one woman. There you go. Be up under so, the blanket. so it's not about teaching niggas Snuggle. to get a bunch of pussy. <laughs> it's about teaching niggas to be men first. See, mm-hmm. the, the foundation is manhood, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, and also with the foundation of manhood, everything spring up from that. So, what that means is, if you're dealing with a woman, you want her to show you deference. And young player, if you don't know, that means humble submission and respect, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you you want to deal with women who show you deference, and any woman who does it, you don't fuck with her. I don't care if you just want some pussy or you want a relationship. So, we're trying to teach niggas how yeah. to be able to discern, you know. The difference between women who are worthy of their time and women who aren't, which is why you forget the title. We're talking about standards. Once you have standards for yourself, you can easily separate the bitches that deserve your time from the ones who don't. You get that call into two eight one. Do you got uh you got pick up lines when you court approach? This is what I'm trying to say though. Like <laughs> the last few niggas that called it, I've been hearing them saying like, "How I get a bitch?" Like, "Hi, how?" So they obviously they trying to get some pussy. Like nigga ain't gonna no. not want no. This is what I'm saying, but like we all men here, we know women want shit out of men. You see what I'm saying? Wait, wait, what out of hold on, hold on. Why do you hold on? Why do you care about what the woman wants out of you? Oh, me? No, I I, I don't. I want mm-hmm. shit out of women. Like I want a woman me. So what you bringing it up I want for? A woman that can listen, cause no, no, listen, listen to me. I, me person, I want a woman that can listen, cause guess guess what? Proper instructions bring great production. I won't know what I can get out this of this. Nigga, he just like talking. I don't, I don't do <laughs> yeah, yeah, This is this is a yeah, motherfucker. Real quick, let, 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 me, let me ask the caller a question. Caller, 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 caller where are you from? Caller, real quick, caller, where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. All right, all right, go ahead, fam. Go ahead. Yeah, so let me let me let me let me tell us. No, hey, hey, let me let me ask you real quick, man. Let me ask you real quick. So, <clears throat> how old are you? I'm 23. 23. So, so when you're 43, you think you're going to be talking that way you're talking now? The same way, because I, I already know. Okay. So, so, so there's nothing that I took but experiences from when I was 23 years old to 43. So I'm going to just let you know, you know, your whole life is going to shift in your mind. Things are going to slow down. You ever heard about when they, when, when they say in the NBA, how the basketball players, when you get really great, shit just slows down and you see everything? You heard about that before? Let me put this in, 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 in perspective for you. Let me put this in perspective for you, right? Y'all a lot older than me. So, 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 yeah, so what you're doing is right now, I can tell just to, just with your confidence level that you can complete minor uh, a young man's goals, right? One of his goals may be to lay down with a, with a bitch and get some pussy or whatever because I was young too. But when you can become a certain age, you understand that like the, the stock market for pussy plummeted because in your mind, you don't need them for that. You, you get what I'm saying? I mean, role play. see, see, hold on. See, now you, I'm losing you a little bit. You know, you said, I mean, what I'm trying to tell you is, is that the value from a woman is her top half, not her bottom half. Mm. Yeah. See, you don't know that dude mm. right now. You don't mm. know that because you can't I'm, see that, right? I know you're older than me. Okay, so the reason why I'm telling you is, if if a go, I'm gonna let you speak. I'm gonna let you get yours off, right? and and I and I speak. I, I I appreciate the street lingo because I'm from the block. So let me just tell you this though. Let me say this to you: when you're a young man, it's reverse. The bottom half is more value. When you're older man, 
you understand the top half is more value. If you can, it, it is, I, I value men. If you can, if you can be in a relationship with a woman long term and she follows directions for many, many years, and she she is doing things to bring value and peace to you. You you are the real Mac. See, mm-hmm. men men believe quantity of women mm-hmm. makes you a man. Right. That means you're validating yourself off of what minor young pill person's goals. My goal has always been how much can I teach her so if I'm away, she can create more value for me and bring peace to my life when I'm away. Mm-hmm. You understand me? I can get I can lay down with any woman. That that's not that's the easy part. The part the game comes in at is how does she come into your life to help you improve the things you want her to do? Mm-hmm. That's where the game is. Yeah. If you talk to most men, they'd be like, oh, I don't smash about 20, 30 bits because they put value in mm-hmm. quantity of women. Instead of putting quality in one or two women who can bring value to your life. Yeah, you have that. Yeah, go. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Thing, mm-hmm. right to me, though. That's the thing to me. Like, we living in 2022, my generation way different than y'all. Nah, like, oh, I got one. We got we got one on the panel that's different. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But see, but see, call her, call her. Hold on, call her real quick. Now they all they want to listen to is city girls and, and bitches talking about breaking niggas. Let me let me tell you something. It's Listen, great. Them bitches outside. I got I got no eyes, man. I don't see. Don't, don't it's, great. It's, it's great. It's great in this beer. It's I'm, great in this beer, bro. But what I I will tell you is right. the young women love love the older men. You know why? Because we come oh. with a set of game and rules, y'all, structure, value. Because y'all tricks. I'm not no. Trick. Nah, I ain't, I ain't spending no money on all. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Now you're losing me. <laughs> now you're losing me. Now. I've never been a trick. Ain't nobody trick over here, bro. I've never been a trick, and let me and let me tell you why, right? Because I don't value her enough for her to ever ever believe that she can ever ask me for anything. Or I don't think she's valuable enough for me to ever give her anything to move the way I need her to move. Hold on, real quick. Let, let, me, let me ask the caller a question. Caller, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. I'm going to give you two scenarios. Would you rather be fucking yeah. five chicks that you would never, ever consider to be anything other than jump-offs? Or would you rather be fucking five chicks that are quality bitches that would you consider for a girlfriend or maybe even a wife one day? Shit, me. I rather fuck five bitches that can make me some money. I tell a bitch, take yeah, off. No, 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 you, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Oh, you're missing the point. Okay, we, we're not talking about money. No, we're not talking. See, because see now, even when you even when you mention money, we're talking about the quality that the woman brings to you, mm. right? Because think about what I just said. Mm. Would you rather fuck with five chicks that are just jump offs? In other words, all they got for you is pussy, or five chicks who are quality chicks who are willing to do some shit for you. It don't got to be money. It could be other shit. You know what I'm saying, back, but my point rough. is, we're talking about quality. The problem is, like 50 was saying, you have a lot of guys, they fuck a lot of chicks that don't nobody want. But yet, yet they bragging about they doing something. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to uh, bestow upon you, youngin, is the fact that we're talking about quality chicks who actually bring value to your situation. Because remember this, and I'm going to pass it to my homies. Any woman you deal with is either a liability or an asset to you. Got hey, call her, call her real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. Uh, do you, do you, yeah. this is the thing I want to ask you, right? You talked about city girls and all this other shit. What does that have to do with a woman listening to, listening to you? What does that have to do with it? Oh, I, me personally, a bitch listen to me. So then why are you bringing up city girls and all that bitch other shit? Listen to me. So why you brought up all this stuff? I'm, saying, I'm, I'm I'm speaking. I'm speaking for the for the fact of the. I'm for, on behalf of the other call that's calling. No, 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 no. Stop calling. That's your first Nobody problem. That, that's how I know. That's how I know you're the pop caller. There's two things I want to say. It's how I know you ain't about the gang because you worry about other men. Number one, that's strike one. But strike two, all this women have changed. Show me has a lion ever changed from a lion being a lion back in the day? When does a lion ever change being a lion caller? And I ain't never so, changed. Uh, and, I, and a pimp ain't never changed from being a pimp either. See, and, 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 and let me get this one. Let me get. Let me get this one. Let me. Let me. Let me get this one. So I, I want you to look at the. I want. And, and, and let me tell you something. I always tell you a lot of y'all cats. Great, great, great uncles. Phil Mo Slim. I know you know who that is. If you're a real one, right? So let me. Let me tell you what he, what he's always said. If you look at the women that are, are being pimped, the value of them are, are zero to nothing. Those most of those women are women who are have trauma in their life. They they have they have nothing 
in the world to give but their bottom half. And if you and, and you can easily mentally molest those women. You can you can have them do things for you because they can't do nothing for themselves. Hold on, hold on. I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you this really quick. Because when men talk about a woman making money for them or doing money things for them, you got to create an environment for that to even happen. You have to understand a woman will do whatever you want her to do as long as you create the environment in order for her to move in it with your structure and your order. If you feel like most pimps are weak, and let me tell me let me tell you why most pimps are weak. Most no, but most pimps are weak. Most pimps are weak. Let me tell you why. Most pimps are weak because they have to use physical because they can't use the mental to control this woman. And I keep trying to tell y'all. I keep trying to tell y'all, we look up to things because we believe it looks like success. If you're getting a situational income from a woman that's doing something for illegally, which is not, I don't think it's manly. If you're in a situation when you got to get some money from these women, now you're saying to yourself, I'm putting myself in jeopardy. She's putting herself in jeopardy. Who's that hurting in the long run? You're the guy with the plan. I'm not going to jail for no women. And I and let me tell you something. Oh, me if her too. if her sole purpose is to bring you money, then how about you set up a business and you have her run the HR, mm-hmm. you have her run the payroll, the thing, oh, you have her out knocking on doors, uh, giving out your flyers. I'm not macking on you if I ain't stacking on you. If I'm not. Okay. Uh, I stop right there. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. Call her. <laughs> this cat has this cat has award winning <laughs> rhymes. Exactly for real. <laughs> Yo, what is call this? Caller, are you a rapper? Caller. Caller, when your mixtape come out, I want I want to cop that mixtape. That shit is. Caller, are you a rapper call, by any chance? The caller called in for the purpose of saying all that shit he said. I'm giving a lot of y'all calls. She can't take exception. She can't take exception. It ain't no protection. He called in because hold on, caller, caller, caller. This is what happened. You ran into a pimp at some point who gave you some game, and you couldn't wait to spit that shit you heard. Like, this is what you're doing right now. My daddy, you know what I mean? you, my daddy, you're like, this is what the fly shit. Daddy, I'm gonna say that shit live on air because I think it's some fly shit. That's if you all that, why is he listening to the show? Why the fuck you listen to the show if you all that and shit? No, this is what I'm saying. Hit, hit a real flex, bro. Hit the flex. I ain't saying I'm all that. Oh, listen, I fuck with what y'all doing. Like I fuck, I yeah, fuck with yeah. how y'all. Y'all know y'all some fly ass play ass niggas. Y'all see y'all. Oh, yeah. y'all I really appreciate the young. I appreciate the young guy. Hey, let me let me tell you how I can teach you though. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how I can teach you though. And the reason why I'm I'm on you a little bit is because I like I was raised like like a shark, right? But even a shark has to know that there's there's priority in 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 your own. Like when you live through the lenses of other people, then you're not going to be happy. And I knew, I knew. Li- listen to what you're hearing. I like that. I grew up in the Bay, man. This is how they spit. Like this, is how they this this is what they do. We you have to understand. There's things in life that are bigger than making money and having women. And if you don't believe that, then your box is going to stay so small that one day you're going to lose control, which is your mind. Because you're gonna be a 50 year old man thinking the same thing you was when you was 23, and you know it's, there's no advancement. You have mm-hmm. to advance, and all I'm saying is, young man, think of some long term goals. Think of some long term goals that can set you up for success. Pimps don't retire, bro. They don't I, retire. They don't have a retirement plan. Caller, we're gonna give you the last word because we gotta get to some more of these callers. But go ahead. No, for sure, no shit. I just I got a retirement plan. Shit, I want to, you know what I'm saying? She can get money, but I'm for sure going to get money out the hook. I got, me personally, I got one Mac of 10 million, bro, and the nigga ain't ever going to check my pimp out nothing. You see what uh, I'm saying? All right, go ahead. All right, hang up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, brother, we appreciate the I'm call, sure. man. I'm child, boy. Y'all keep call, going. Call it. Call it. You should be a rapper, bro. You got a lot of lines. You got a lot right, of lines. Call it, call it. In, the, in, the, in the chat that's listening. I just want them to just remember one thing, shit. If the hoe don't feel you, the hoe gonna peel you. Woo! That's, 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 hey, 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 that's bananas to a gorilla. <laughs> you know what I mean? That nigga recently heard some pimp and he heard some fly ass shit. He couldn't wait to get on and talk yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but listen, I'm, I'm gonna follow those on a whole straw. We all know that, man. <laughs> I wanna follow up with this and wrap that up with this, man. The flex getting bitches is not a flex to men that get bitches. Right. <laughs> the real flex is can a bitch get you? Ooh. Can a bitch get me? What, what yeah, I can get bitches. And I'm and, and I know I can get bitches. I've been getting that's bitches since since you know, even younger than this. That's too much. That's too much. But can a bitch get me? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. 
Okay. Okay. That's that's the real flex, man. That went all over their head right there. They ain't even ready for that shit. That's why you on this panel with the real ones. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go to seven five seven seven five seven. What's popping? Who this? Seven five seven. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up, God? What's please, going please. on? What's up? Hey, yo, look, um, yo, look, I, I just uh, had toned in from um Anton Daniels, bro, you know what I'm saying, which is why, you know what I'm saying, I had toned in, man. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, just, just trying to, like, peep out the whole convo and how everybody's talking, man. I just mm. moved to add in my little uh, two, you know set, right? Um, I just, I came home from doing, like, seven and a half, you know, and I came home back in, like, what, 2000, like, uh, pitching, you know what I mean? And just me personally, like, you know, I I, I have a cleft lip, you know what I'm saying? I came call, up. Call her, call her, call her, call her. Can, I have can, a real bad. Look, 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 do, do, do us this favor, do us this favor. Can, can mm. you ask your question and then we'll ask for all the surrounding stories around your question to kind of make sense of it? Right. All right, cool, cool. All right, cool, cool. Um, what's y'all, you know what I'm saying, take on, like, just you know what I'm saying? Dudes who may have, um, you know what I mean, like, like a cleft lip. Cause just me personally. Right, call it, call it, call it. Call it, call it, call it call so let me, call let me, you know, I, I wanted him, I wanted him bad right there. Pause, pause. We got to draw the line on that one. Yeah, I, wanted, I, wanted, I wanted it bad. <laughs> you know, you're you not your physical attributes, dog. That's your problem. You, you are not your physical attributes, okay? And you should never look down on what you have. Be proud of who you have. Be proud of what you are. And when you are that way, a woman's going to see. And listen, when a woman is into you, she doesn't care. I promise I you. It, it, you it, huh? I'm just telling I you. Say that. I, I, you talking I, about your fucking I, I, You talking about your goddamn lip, right? Aren't you talking about your damn lip? Aren't you talking about your lip? I said, what's your take on it? Hold on, man. Yo, slow down, G. I asked, I asked, you know what I'm saying? You asked me, you know what I'm saying, to ask a question. I'm asking. I said, yeah. what's your take on it? Okay, so. That, he, so that's that's what he's saying. He's giving you his take on it. That's what he's saying. He's giving you the take on it. He's giving you the take on it. Call and listen. Go ahead. I'm giving you the take, but I'm just saying that why do you care what our take is? What What is what, is what we think going to help you be a better man? Well, I mean, just to be honest, you know, uh, you know, like I like I'm I'm actually trying to talk to some of the men, you know what I'm saying, up here. It was the only reason why, you know what I'm saying, I called just to get it, you know what I mean, like y'all's, you know what I'm saying, insight. I know what my insight is. Me personally, I don't give a fuck what no bitch has to say. I didn't so why, then why would you ask that? You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to do <laughs> So then what so oh, what's your issue then? What's your problem? No, 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 like that, that ain't my issue, you know what I'm saying? Um Although it has been an issue, you know what I'm saying? I was just calling, you know what I'm saying, to get shit like, like y'all's take on, on that. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Okay. Well, no. well, you know, well I wanted out, oh, yeah. Well, here, here's my thing. Okay. I, I don't have no take on cleft lips and all that type of shit because I'm a heterosexual male and, and I ain't worried about what niggas got going on. Um, so what, what, what I would say to you is if, if things is popping off the way you wanted to pop off, who, who gives a fuck what's going on with you, fam? So, so well, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How does your how does your cleft lip affect your confidence? Well, I'm a, I'm gonna say say this right. So, um, when I was in school and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like like you know what I mean? The, you know the girls used to always like pick on me and shit like that, right? So, mm -hmm. I was not about to talk about fifth grade bullying, man. How old are you? Let, Wait, let me, how old are you now? You so 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 all I'm saying is, man, does it affect you now in your lifehood and you in your livelihood, your day to day life, your cleft lift? Yo, can I explain? You know what I'm saying? God damn, son, I ain't even still no, because we don't have time to hear that shit, man. That's why you can't explain. We don't have time to hear that shit. <laughs> Ask your question. And we'll help you. We don't have time to hear that shit. If we ask no, what you no, just no. is, don't tell us about Miss Crabtree. Don't man. tell us you gave her an apple. Don't tell us you man, man. Tell us fucking four. Period. Fam, I'm responding because the other dude up there had asked me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? He asked me something. I was getting ready, you know what I'm saying, to ask, you know what I mean, to answer it. And then you goddamn jumped in like on some like railroad shit. Okay, all right. All right, call it. Call you got the floor. Still ain't get call, to call, you got the floor. Do your thing. Do your thing. But 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 get to the point though. So like I was saying, fam. 
look, look. Like I was saying, yo, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, you know what I mean? So I came up the way, you know what I'm saying? I was taught like, yo, you can't actually hit, you know what I'm saying, on your woman. So like when other dudes would like jump on, I was always fighting, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. So later on, you know what I'm saying, like in my later 20s, you know what I'm saying, when half the time I was being, you know what I'm saying, locked up, like I had to like, you know what I'm saying, just realize to the fact like, yo, I can't be worrying about if a bitch say, you know what I'm saying, this and that and the third or what she don't like. Like I, I, I didn't. you're all over the place, brother. Right, bro. Yeah, we went from fourth grade bullying. Yeah, so so let me just putting say this your to you. hands on women. Yeah, and I, and, I, and I wanted to say this. I wanted to end with this, man, because I I'm, I'm I'm here. Like too 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 long. So let me let me tell you something too. I, I always always caution men who always lead with their things that they're not too confident in. Mm-hmm. When you when you called in, and you said something about prison, right? I did a bid, and and then then now you're talking about your club lip. Like when you call in, if you speak with confidence and you say, hey, this is my question for the panel. We wouldn't have known about any of these other things. I always want you men to present yourself the best way you possibly can. Right. And, and, and I don't think you did that when you called in. So I would say this and just suggestion when, when it comes to your club lift. Right. I don't think anybody outside of yourself to validate you in regards of what, what you got going on. Like I'm 6162 265. Like I'm a I'm a bigger guy, right? And I know that I know that I can't be in certain places without people feeling away. And that's how I was raised. Oh, you gotta I don't give a fuck anymore. Like I I, I was walking, matter of fact, I was in Vegas. Motherfucker, motherfuckers coming my way. I'm not moving a shoulder for a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm knocking motherfuckers clearly down. They moving like, oh my god, what was like? They expect you to fucking move, right? That's why I fuck with you, yeah, for real. And on my mama, though, and on my mama, and I know that's why I fuck with you. It it can cause many things. It can cause some problems. But I'm a bigger. This is who I am, and so I've embraced that. And so what I'm telling you is, if you got a clamp lift, you tell a bitch, have you ever, ever had your shit ate out with a man's mouth closed? Right. <laughs> Go get it. You have, you, have you ever seen a man <laughs> eat? <laughs> have you ever? Have, no, no, have call you call ever? I'll tell you, these wait, bitches wait. is ready. Looking like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> no, call no, call no, call no, call no. Call hey, yo, 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 son. Ain't nothing pussy about me, fam. Who said he was a? Who bro. said he said he was you, pussy? Call her, call her. You misunderstanding what he's saying. Call her, call her. No, call her. Hold on. You misunderstanding what he's saying. What, what what he's saying is, whatever insecurity you, you got, use statement. that shit to your advantage. That, that's what he's he's not, bro. Nigga, I never called you a pussy, my nigga. Yeah, 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 I, you, I, hey. he's, talking about, he's talking about eating pussy, nigga. He said, he said, said eating pussy. Now he wasn't calling you a pussy. You, you understand that? He said, I know. Eating. What he said, bro. I'm just, you know what I'm saying, reiterating the fact. Yo, that shit sounds yeah. fucking corny, my nigga. Hey, man, hey, man, I forgot. See, kids, pit attention. Hey, you, hey, we, we can hang up on him. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But you calling it a test, though. You calling it a test talking about your lips. Penitentiary yeah, niggas, penitentiary lips. niggas. I'm telling you, man. What when happens you came is, in and asked that, men, is your lips when, cool. they don't like they don't like to be they don't like to be talked to in a certain way. You forgot, you know, they right. get all aggressive and they get tight. You know what I mean? You got that bar, you got that bar of soap wrapped around your neck, nigga. Like, hey, give me that bar of soap around your neck, and you get mad, nigga. Who you talking to, nigga? All right, we gotta let him go. We gotta let him go. Get out of here, you damn nigga! You see all the insecurity losing out before. Fuck out of here. Anyway, we got three more calls and we got to head up out of here. Okay, yeah. six, 614, 954, and then 410. All right, six, 614, what's popping? Who this? 614. Hello? Yes, sir. What's going on? My question is. Uh, speak up. Bro, the the fuck up, bro. God speak up, bro. Speak up. We can't hear you. Speak up. I said my question is when you ask her, she said, uh, she'll think about it. What does that mean? That means she ain't, she ain't feeling you. <laughs> bro, what, what do y'all see, bro? Hold on. She used to think it's like 16 years old. Why? How old are you calling? How old are you calling? <laughs> don't tell us, caller. Please don't. We already know. We okay. already know. You said you ain't she told you she'll think. Caller, how long you been waiting since she said she been thinking about it? <laughs> <laughs> how long I've been waiting? Uh, about 24 hours. I mean, about 24 hours. I think I thought you were gonna say 24 days, no. man. Nigga, I thought you she had the she had the home with the, the uh strings connected to dots, drawing board and scribbling and blueprint. The answer is she not feeling you. And if you need some coaching, if you're over 18, holla at us, real game no three.com. Appreciate the call, my brother. All right, let's go to nine nine five four. Nine five four. What's popping? Who this? 
And this is what I realized. This is how you put your foot down on that. Listen, I'm not a think about it kind of guy. Either you know or you don't. I I know. I don't waste time hesitating, freezing, or think about this. I do, and I, or I don't. Right. So call her uh, nine five four. What's popping? Hey, what's going on, y'all guys? What's good? What's good? Not much, not much. So I got like two single moms on my team. I'm 27, you know, and I be one of them had a, a kid after we started messing around. The other one already had a kid. No, Before, wait, wait. You are, you chose to get the one pregnant, but what's your question, brother? Now, nah, my my question is like one. So I hit both of them up today just on some Happy Mother's Day, you know, being cordial with them. So the other one, you know, took it. Thank you, this and that. Hope to see you later or whatever. Just on some cool shit. The other one. And like an hour later, sent me a cash app request for a hundred dollars. What's going on? You know, nah, this nigga trolling. This nigga gotta be trolling. Yeah, you gotta be trolling, dog. You soft, dog. Jesus, you gotta be kidding me. How so, you? So, I would have so, sent one back. Shit, I could use hundred dollars too. <laughs> yeah, so, so have you have you been giving her money in the past? Is so this why like, she's? Like, What's that for? And she's like, oh, so I can get something later to eat or whatever. I'm like, okay, but 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 call her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Even if she was asking for money, is that how you gonna let her ask for it? There you go. See. Hold on, let me get let me get hold on hold on so the fact that she even sent you a cash up and you asked her what, it what is it for right so why are you oh asking her? ignore that shit yeah I'm, I'm not going to honor the request anyways it wasn't even a thing of that but you're having a group call call i wouldn't even have acknowledged i wouldn't even have acknowledged it there you go i'm like that probably was an accident Hey, she ain't mean to do that to me. Hey, caller, we all get emails from guys in Africa that have billions of dollars and they want our bank account. You see what she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to know. But, but, but call her, call her, hold on. Call her, I don't. I don't. Call her, call her, call her. Hold on, hold on real quick. Uh, assuming, assuming you're not a troll and assuming you're telling the truth. Sometimes when women do goofy shit, you got to say that's goofy shit and say, I'm not even going to respond to that. I, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to acknowledge that goofy ass shit she did. And, and, and you just ignore it and go on about your day. He's scared. He's scared. That's all you got to do. Man, I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'd have yeah, called her. You know what? This ain't the first time she asked you for money. I can tell. She already asked you for money. You probably already gave her some money, man. So what? Do you, what is your question? Every time so she sent you that. So what's your question? Oh, so it's never no pressure. Like at the end of the day, so that's why I was kind of confused. Like why? Wait, wait. Yeah, did you man. send it? Still behind it. So did man, you send it? At the end of the day, it's like. She just wanted two singles. Did you send it? No, no, no. Call it, call it, call it. Did you send it? No, I didn't send it. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Hold on. Let me ask you another question. Sometimes you're going to ask you a different question. Did you offer to do something instead that was less than $100? Did you say, I can't send you 100 but I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese or some shit? Did you, did you do that? Not so that we could link up later or whatever you feel. And do what? And do no, what? that's what he said. Baby, baby, you know I get paid next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on real quick. Call her. You said we can link up later and do one. It's a bad weekend. Yeah, There's not a money of it. It's the whole principle of why is okay, it. But, 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 all right, no, all right, let me ask you another question. Let me ask you. Rather than have me do something for her. Like, you are you celebrating Are you like, celebrating Mother's Day like with her kids that ain't yours? Hold on. Call her. Yeah, right. Are you Would celebrating you Mother's Day? Call her. Call her. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Hey, you, you got so much to say to us, but not the bitch that just want to snatch money out your pocket. Are you celebrating <laughs> Mother's Day with women for kids that ain't yours? Not at all. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't celebrate. If you're not my mother, good luck. I, 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 Carl, I said this. Do you still talk to her? Like, is she still in your life? I have to be. Cause bro, ain't no way up. You know how do you listen? Let me get you to see this. Do you know how disrespectful that is for mm -hmm. her to just request it, not say nothing to you, no more and then you and then you say, "Yo, what's up with that?" And then she go, "I wanted you to send me money for this." Right, uh, bro. That's that's, that's like that's like a woman a literally feeder. slapping me. She's mm -hmm. a bottom feeder though. That's a test. That's, whether I'm going to do it or not. And it, no, 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 it don't no. matter if you're going to do it. It's the fact that she thought she could play like that. Yeah, call why you hate yourself. Wait, wait, how long have you been with her? I don't know who else Because if she got five, you know, she got four other dudes on, or whatever that she messed with and she sent call like her. three sentences. Call her, Maybe call her. How long, long, how long, how long you been three. dealing with her? How long you been dealing with her? This is the chick who already had a kid, so probably about a year now. So you've been dealing with this chick for a year. This is the first time she asked you for me. No, she know you. She know you. She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. And let me tell you, let me remind you. Uh, you know, you're 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 in a you're in a some type of situation with a bottom of the barrel bitch, and she look. Let me tell you something. She she has a kid. Why y'all was together? So obviously, 
she was already pregnant, and you over there hitting pregnant women with the with the whole situation. Let me tell you how horrible of a woman this is. So, so for her to be sending you out a link for for money makes your decision of you even like sticking it in this bitch. That's dangerous. Well, if it, if she is what she is. Why does he hate himself? You can see that this motherfucker hate himself. Why? Why do you hate yourself so much? Where you going grabbing some bottle of the barrel type chick? That no, that look, she see you as a weak motherfucker who can't fuck. You I ain't got. In fact, but she asked you for money because you are her bank and her bitch, and you just you just mad because you've been giving her money. She still got her finger on your fucking forehead. Why you so? Why do you hate yourself? Who's giving her money though? Are you the one? You've been with me the first time. She asked you for the point. And, and and Rita Simone said it a mark. You mm -hmm. know, there was something that you said in or did that made her feel like she could do that. See, I don't, I don't call it the first time she asked for money because if you've been with this, rocking with hey, this hey, year, hey, Rita, Rita's old school because I ain't heard that word in, in a long time. All, all, all of a sudden, she's <laughs> asking for money out the blue this first this one time. Day one, we would have changed holidays. Call it, we'd have been, been it'd have been uh, Halloween, and my dick would have been in the bag. I'm not, I'm not that guy or whatever. It's no longer Mother's Day with that attitude. That's why I fuck with you, Tyler. Yeah, I ought to block that bitch. We don't have no connection. That bitch yeah, really that's what I'm saying. Why are you still talking? Bro, she played with you in the work. Nigga, she, she said, she basically said, give me money and I'm going to wait for you to give it to me. I'm not going. I'm not going to ask you nicely. I'm not going to bring it up to so, you. I'm not. I'm, she I'm just said, you, "I'm going to request the money, and I'm going to just wait for you I'm, to send I'm it." I'm going to tell you the energy that you gave off was bitch ass. That's why she sent that to you. That's why we're talking I'm about. A, I'm standards. a fucking savage. So she knew if she'd have sent that to me, then the savage would have came out of me. There's no fucking way, bitch. And and <laughs> we don't even share kids. Like that's not even my child. Mm -hmm. like, they bitch, she got, she got day one. Oh wait, guy. wait, wait. He said he ain't got no kids with her. Nah, hell no. Oh. Caller, uh, caller, I would, I would have sent it to her with laughing emojis. I would have thought this would have been a good joke. It's, it ain't no way. I, I wouldn't have been able to take that serious, bro. I, I swear to God, I would have thought it was an accident. What was that about? I, Literally, like a few minutes after it came through, like I'm trying to see what it's about from the jump because she already know I'm not that type of dude. All right, so what would she have said? What, what could? It, what could? Well, what, all right, if you asked her what it was about, what could she have said for you to send it to her? Why well, about here? What you said? Why are you asking what is it what is it about? That means that there's some room for you would to send it to her, right? No, it's not. I just want to know. So I if it wasn't, no, you want to know for a reason, bro? Because this re if it's a good enough reason, you would have sent it. Brother, you calling us about a woman? You calling us about a woman that's not even your woman that you've been with year for this bottom of the barrel that you've been with for a year. You see who the fuck the problem is? It's not the woman. You're the oh, fucking it's, it's, problem. It's not the woman. See. But see, what, what he don't understand, call her, call her, call her, hold on, call her, hold on, listen, listen, call her, listen, call her, call her, call her, no, call her, listen, call her, call her, listen, call her, call her, call her, call her, call her, listen, nigga, listen for a minute, listen for a second, when, when women encounter certain, when they encounter certain men, they know there are certain men that they deal with that are not to be trifled with, they know better than to ask for certain right. shit, like, I can't ask that nigga, but what I'm saying to you, now you can say, oh, I'm a tough nigga, I'm this and that, and you might be, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, there is something that you did in or said during that year that made you feel like she could do that to you. Right? Vaginal energy you've been giving out. I do nice shit for people, you know what I'm saying? Oh, exactly. See, 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 there you go, there you go. There it is. Carla, she would have had to be like, Daddy, can now I please? Get to the oh, truth. Now, now we get to the truth. Daddy, Carla, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, don't come over. What other, what other <laughs> nice shit? Hold on, what That's other night? Hold on, what other nice shit were you doing this whole year you was with her? <laughs> what other nice things were you doing this whole year that you was with her? Well, I went and got her an oil change. <laughs> yeah right. You got a word. What are you filming? It ain't really no like. No 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 no. You said you no 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 no. You said you like to do nice shit. No, I'm saying that. No, put the light together, taking showers together. Her door was kind of squeaky one day. I I rewheeled the door. No no guys. Specifically, what did you do? He's either playing T or throwing a little ball, a little day day. Yeah, come on, Carla. Yeah, what were you doing the whole year? Because you just was you wasn't just fucking her. You was doing other things. What were you doing? We we were chilling. We only make. 
think she got, you know what I'm saying? She don't stay necessarily the closest. She like a half no, 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 Fuck, man. Who else, man? No, nigga, you and fucking Iron Man. <laughs> we hang out, you feel me? We might go to the movie, we might go to the movie. There it is. I got some drinks. Okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Exactly, call her, exactly. She's a little buddy, call her. Call her, exactly, and that's why she asking you for money. That's why she asking you for money, bro. That's it's really hey, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you all right now, I had, a, I had a moment in 2004. I went to the, I went to do what me and this bitch went to the store together. And I never forget. I was like, she ain't had no Kool Aid packets. I said, man, I'm thirsty and shit. It's 2004. Motherfucker, I went in there and to the store. I said, hold on, I'm gonna stop at the store. I done, I done bought two, two things of Kool Aid packets, <laughs> nigga. And, and and when I left, nigga, I had two glasses of Kool Aid, and I was pissed in the motherfucker. And I told myself, I told myself, nigga, that I can't believe that I spent motherfucking seventy cent. <laughs> for two fucking Kool Aid packets for this bitch in 2004. <laughs> nigga, that's, nigga, I remember the situation. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you right now, dog. Yeah, yeah that shit right don't now, sit right on your soul. That, that nigga on my soul to the day. Nigga, I, I can barely sip fucking red Kool Aid right now. But I think, thinking about my motherfucking moment. But I'm thinking about that shit. So call it. This is what, this is what happened. You niggas is cash up in a bean. A hundred dollars, though. We got to let you go. We got to let you go real quick. But this is all that happened. All that happened is, is that you cupcaking with this woman, doing a whole bunch of shit. She's not really your girlfriend, but you're acting like her boyfriend. So therefore, you're acting like a boyfriend. So she's asking you for money. And this is why she's asking you for that hundred dollars. That's all that's happening, bro. So you, you, you set yourself up to be in that situation. Every year. Like, we're not going out every day, every No, no, you don't call, call, There's nothing wrong with the girl. Call, there's nothing wrong with the girl. You trained her to be that way. Hey, exactly. hey you know what it is? Hey, hey, my, my cousin, my cousin, shout out to him, man. He just texted me around. He watching the show. He said, nigga, that's the side nigga. <laughs> exactly. You are the side nigga that you that, that she's that's why she asked you shit. She about to take that hundred and go on a date that with her real nigga. Oh, hey, go ahead and pay for their date. Be nice. Be nice, bro. Call her, call her, call her. Before we let you go. Call her, call her, call her. Listen, call her. You feel me? I'm not none of that. So I mean I'm cool with that if that's what it is. No, 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 you ain't cool with that nigga. Why why are you cool with that? Hold on, really. Call her. There's a certain thing called in, in, in inadvertent behavior. Because we, hold on, Carter. Listen, nigga. nigga. Hey, you still him talking? Him. Hey, listen. I'm gonna put him on hold. You put him on hold. I'll let his ass go. Carter, Carter. you ain't talking about sending a hundred dollars, bro. Right. Let, let, let the nigga go so I can make my point. To, 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 right. To right. There you go. He's gone. Go ahead. Okay, cool. if, if that bitch hey. ain't ain't stacking, she ain't. You ain't macking. Two eight one. We. She paying. She staying. You know what I mean? Right. 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 <laughs> but 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 my point is this: is there's a certain thing called inadvertent behavior, and what a lot of guys do, you do certain things, and you think because you've been dealing with the chick for a while, it's cool for you to introduce shit. Mm. Oh, let me introduce shit. Let me spend the night now. Okay, let me take a shower with her after we get done fucking, and 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 now she can lay on my on my chest and play with my taco meat and tell me all all her motherfucking stories. And my thing is this: you have to draw a line. You know what I'm saying? As far as what that woman is to you, what role she's playing in your life. Mm -hmm. So if you're dealing with a chick and you know for a fact all you want to do is fuck her and nothing more, fuck her and nothing more. Mm -hmm. Don't right. take no showers with her. Don't Man, that talk is, that with her. Making don't love do to her. Don't, yeah. don't fucking have conversations about her fucking family. He is. He asked him. He asked him about how, how your day was and shit. Y'all give these women hope. Okay? Mm -hmm. And when you give them hope, they think, oh, there's possibilities that I can have more than just his dick. So mm -hmm. then they start to share shit with you and do certain shit with you. And then you wonder why they trip on you. It's because you're not being consistent. Because you say, oh, all, all I want to do is fuck you. But then you let her spend the night. And she's like, no, that's not all you want to do. You let me spend the night. Mm -hmm. So your actions and your words don't add up. And what women will do ultimately is go by your actions, not your words. Facts. Make it clear. Come on, man. Stop fucking around with these females. All right, so we're going to go 410 and then we're going to uh, head up out of here, man, because it's almost 2.30. Uh, 410, <laughs> what's, pop what's popping? Who this? <laughs> what's popping? What's popping? <laughs> Yo, what up, what up, 410? What's going on? 
<laughs> um, can anyone from the uh, panel um, give me a, another example of what men expect women to have standards they themselves don't possess? That's it. That's all I want. All right. Thanks for the call, uh, player. We'll, uh, we'll we'll get to that in a second. So he's saying, uh, what other standards do do uh, men have that they want that women don't possess? Well, let me let me let me just say this, right? And this is what a lot of guys don't get. The average guy right now, ninety percent of men in the world, they don't have no boundaries. Okay, and, and it's like this because Ty, you said it earlier. You talk about you talk about drawing drawing a, a line in the sand. This is what niggas do. They'll draw a line in the sand. They'll be like, "Oh, she bad though." They erase that line and move that line up. <laughs> right. And they'll draw a different line. Right. And then they'll be like, "Oh, her ass is fat." They re- they erase that line <laughs> and draw another line. This is what dudes do. They keep moving the line of standards based on how pretty or sexy the chick is. Right. Right. That's, That's right. what they keep doing. So just with that, you have no standards. So when a dude talking about standards, the woman should not interfere with your standards. So this is what I mean. So call her, listen up. I don't care if you're dealing with a chick who worked at Walmart or she's a lawyer. She get treated the same. 90 seconds. Max, but that's the perfect. average guy, don't, they don't do that. They're like, she'll never go for it. Mm-hmm. She's educated and, and, and she has a professional job. I got to treat her differently. Every words, they'll start spinning that she's a good girl. Right, exactly. Oh, don't, don't, don't get me started on that. She's, she's, she's a homebody. She don't go nowhere. She don't do. She just is so. Mm-hmm. Even all the bullshit. Oh, we we got five more minutes. I'm gonna take right. uh, one more call. Six seven eight. Six seven eight. Real quick. Six seven eight. What's going on with you? Sixty seconds. Oh, man, uh, this is for Steve. Man, listen. Uh, I Yo, wish Steve. that I was there in person because oh. the way that you handled yourself uh, with Kevin Samuels and his death, man. You were piece of shit for how you handled yourself. Yes. Yes. Oh, this this oh, sounds like. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh-oh. Let me tell you some bitch. And that's <laughs> hey, of course he hung up. Of course he hung up. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell all you bitches something. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Let me tell y'all fucking something. Mm-hmm. When that motherfucker didn't have no fucking money, when that motherfucker was broke, when that motherfucker didn't have no fucking phone, I was the one that gave him fucking money for his broke ass phone. That bitch never paid me. The fuck. <laughs> you know what the fuck I'm saying. Ten seconds. I- him fucking money. He never paid me back. And if you think I give a fuck about what you fuckers say, I don't give a fuck what you say. Let him go. Let the next man go. AMS, he talk mm. shit, let him go. Donovan Short talk shit when he go, let them know. I don't give a fuck. I will celebrate that shit. You want to know okay, why? I don't <laughs> That's what the fuck <laughs> I do. You know okay. why? I don't give a fuck what you say, and nor do I give a fuck what everybody else says. You know what? Uh, I'm screaming right. like a baby. I'm celebrating the day. Let me 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 say this. 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 Let me say this real quick. Fuck y'all talking y- y- about. Y- y'all niggas need to stop bringing other people up in the chat. Mm. Okay, this is the real game. Stop, <laughs> stop bringing like like like, like the, 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 This is the biggest problem that I have with with dudes in the chat. A lot of y'all are some bitches because y'all instigating shit. Don't y'all even know that certain know people don't rock with each other. No, because they know certain people don't rock with each other and mm. they bringing up shit because they want to start shit like a bitch. And mm. they want to sit there. No, back back when I was young, when a nigga instigated shit, everybody beat that nigga ass. Mm. Everybody whipped that nigga ass for starting shit. And a lot of y'all niggas need y'all ass beat for starting shit. My well, hey, hey, you know, start shit's finished. No, listen, I'm but, alive, but, but, so I don't give a fuck. But, but, but Steve, but Steve, my, 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 this, this is my thing. This is my thing. Most people who watch that watch us, they know who we rock with and who we don't. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, yeah. stop bringing up people that we don't rock with. Look. And it doesn't mean that we got a problem with them niggas. We just don't rock with other niggas. So mm-hmm. talk about this the niggas that we objective. rock with. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and, and I want and I want to say something really quick. I just want to chime in really quick before we get about here. So like, so what I want to say is too like, like everybody doesn't need to care. Like I know the world does not owe you understanding as a man. If mm-hmm. I drop dead tomorrow, I don't have anybody but my close people that I fuck with that's going to actually care. Everything mm-hmm. else is manufactured. Mm-hmm. Everything else is what somebody has done for you that you felt like from a distance. Let me tell you yeah. something. There is 
there is so many people, and, and and I ain't got no offense, man. I don't like I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a guy who's driven by God, right? So I don't I don't wish on nothing on nobody. But what I will say to you is, is that I don't like other men defending other men. He's not able to defend himself, right? Or say whatever. But I don't also, if you can't, like, you don't understand Steve and this guy's relationship. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm saying. You don't know the conversations that they may have had or, or, or talked about. And this is what I'm saying. You guys are almost like VH1 bitches. Mm -hmm. You guys try to call situations that's not really there. Drama. A man does not have to give a fuck about your yeah. situation. Nobody owes you understanding. Mm -hmm. People die every day. Hey, the truth is, people die every day. So I want all y'all mourners to mourn it. Why don't you mourn everybody that dies? As a matter of fact, why don't you mourn the people that you actually know? Because y'all don't know that motherfucker. And y'all mourn the motherfucker you don't even know. <laughs> What's so with a paid for the game, niggas die every day, D. <laughs> said he called back. Oh no, the phone lines. Phone lines is down. Yeah, phone we go. And I want to let y'all know before we get up out of here, man. Do not spend no money on these bitches, okay? <laughs> 2004. <laughs> 2004. <laughs> 2004, my nigga. Like, well, I'm, let me, let me, let me, yeah. I'm glad you said that. Hey, yo, look. That fucked me up, man. I tell you, I'll never on, fuck on, these on fucking Kool Aid bitches. Shit. And I want guys to understand this. <laughs> when you are dealing with a woman who is sexually attracted to you, not only does she not care about a date, but if you did one, well, she don't care what the fuck it is. She just want to be with you. Mm. She wants to be around you. In fact, if you're dealing with a woman who really want to fuck you, if you're taking too long to fuck her, she might stop fucking with you. Cause you take mm. too long to give her the dick. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I know plenty of women that tell dudes that offer dates. I don't want to do a date. Can we just go to your house and fuck already? Mm. So I need guys to understand that. Stop bullshitting with chicks. Now, if you want to offer a date, but your your main motivation for offering a date is not sex, like you really want to fill a chick out, make sure that her screw, you know, her head is right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out L, shout out Miles. You mm. want to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? She, she got some sense. And mm. then you want to see where it's at after that. Cool. But a lot of you guys, y'all offer dates to women because y'all think that's the customary thing to do. Exactly. They just follow in, in line. Yeah. I remember I came to my, uh, my community said that. I'm like, dates? Mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all, y'all, listen, y'all trying to substitute a date for a good time. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, if she wants to see you more than she wants to go out, mm -hmm. you could meet that bitch behind the dumpster. Right. She'll exactly. fuck you in the bathroom, at, at the mall, at the, when you are the... When you, exactly. It, listen. Right, listen, they lucky we don't even just go super federal and start telling stories and shit. But what y'all gotta realize is you, you only listen, you only have to, you only had to do the date because she doesn't want to see you more than she wants to go out. And so you that's what you don't have to do dates when she wants to see you. And I want to say real quick too, man, don't assume that it's real domestic violence and call the police and shit when you're in the movie theaters choking the bitch. And they, they, they were actually really enjoying that. So don't just call. Stop calling the police for everything you believe a woman is in desperate need of. Okay. So I just want to let y'all know. I, I was in a dollar a dollar movie, and we, and, you know, it, shit, shit got up. You know, got a little physical up in there, man. We was enjoying each other. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers calling the police and shit. Motherfuckers, police is waiting for me outside and shit. They think I'm. Fifth, I'm choking you. Call yourself a gritter back. You call yourself a silver back. You was grunting too hard, nigga. Yeah, man. You I, I was too hard, nigga. It was real aggressive. Go get the fucking uh, Mike and Ike's, bitch. You forgot the Mike and Ike's. We like to role play. Can I role play any motherfucker out here in public? Oh, oh, oh. And real Call quick, and shit. Fuck, fucking the movie theaters is a real thing. Oh, yeah. The niggas don't get no ice. They had thing. to play the I'm movie theater like the time. second crib, man. Yeah. Right. It was the yeah. second crib, right? The movie theater was the second crib, hotel. man. That's the hotel for a player. You know what I mean? Uh, the that's cheapest hotel. A movie theater is the cheapest hotel you can fucking get. Park in that motherfucker, sit in the back, tell her where I skirt with no draws, have a sit on your shit. Yo, niggas don't know. Stretch the shit out of $20. Because the summer dress, so she can sit on your lap, and the summer dress will roll past your ankles and shit. They won't know when nothing is going on. <laughs> oh, right, man. Right, people. Y'all be safe. Love my brothers, man. Uh, I